Hello! Yay! We've made it! I'm Josephine McAdam, and this is Good Time Society. Tonight, we are playing the new Gloomhaven RPG, and I will be your GM, or Gloom Master. Joining me is a very wonderful, effervescent, beautiful, uh, charming cast. If you all would join me in this digital space, would you mind introducing Ooh. yourselves? Yeah. Hi, my name is Philip Korea. I go by Phil, or on Twitch, Phil Bofragans. It's a, oh, that's, so good. That's, so that's good. I just say that because it's my claim to fame. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm playing a character named the Eye of Dawn, or Ed for short. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to get too much until I start playing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Mysterious. Now me. Yes. Oh, hello. <laughs> My name's Kate Elliott. You can find me on Instagram at Kate in Real Life. Please follow me. It's impossible to build an audience. I will be playing a mind thief, uh, a little bit different than you've seen me play it before, and I'm very excited to play with these lovely peoples. Yeah, and I'm Xander Genere, and I'll be playing Heat, who is a quattro berserker. So very excited to play him. Uh, he uses he, him pronouns, so do I. And you can find me all over the place at Xanderific with two R's and one F. Lovely. Okay, so we are playing this new RPG system from our sponsors, Cephalo Fair, and are going to be showing off the game of digital integration through Hero Labs. All of this is brand new, but uh, we get to show it off first. And of course, it's all part of Cephalo Fair's Gloomhaven Grand Festival. They're over on Backer Kit, and a link should be popping up in chat any moment now. <laughs> but head on over to Backer Kit, and you can get Gloomhaven 2nd Edition, the Gloomhaven RPG, new minis, a new solo pocket Gloomhaven game, just everything Gloomhaven. And the campaign ends at 6 p.m. Pacific tomorrow, so get in there while you still can. All right. Without further ado, are you all ready? Yeah. Am I ready? Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Bring it on. All right. Welcome to the grand continent of Caskia, a land swimming with opportunity, adventure, and discovery. Here, magic, splendor, and great tales of your deeds could be at your very fingertips if you set after it. From the highest peaks in the Copperneck Mountains, amongst the equally rocky Savas, the sinking depths of the lingering swamps with vermlings and chittering harrowers scurrying throughout, or the seemingly endless darkness of the dagger forest hidden within the, with the secluded Enochs and Orchids alike. Many have carved out their place in the bustling townships and remote villages between it all. But no place has attracted as many eager to work crafters, entrepreneurs, families, and adventurers as the one and only Gloomhaven. And it is a sight to behold, especially now as preparations for the Feast of Splendor, a yearly exclusive banquet celebrating the sovereign monarch Lurisia's birthday are underway. The streets are lined with strings of glowing red and golden crystals sparkling even in the daylight as fresh flowers bloom in every windowsill or plot of soil as elementalists work to maintain earth and light infusions throughout the city. Gloomhaven, which is already bustling with intensity on a slow day, is about to get a lot more festive as it soon fills with visitors from near and far ready to celebrate. This is where our adventurers have hailed from. A newly formed mercenary uh, security... Who's asking? ...group for hire. <laughs> what is the name of your group? Ooh. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we are all tiny. We're a bunch of little guys. Kind of. A bunch of little guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little guy. <laughs> uh... The the lollipop brigade? No, that's not it. Whoop, but it's nope. good to get the bad ones out. <laughs> the lollipop brigade. No bad ideas. No, except... no, no. <laughs> no. Veto, no? veto, veto. Okay. You vetoed yourself. <laughs> yeah. No, that's probably for the best. <laughs> How about we're no longer, we used to be thieves, right? We were cut purses. But now that we get hired, maybe we're the luck purses. Ooh, I like that. Purses. The okay, luck purses. I like that. LP. That's 
the LPs, <laughs> the luck purses. Very cute. I love it. Um, would you like to now tell us a little bit about your characters, your ancestry class, and what you look like? Absolutely. I'll, I'll go first. Uh, so my character's named the Eye of Dawn, or Ed for short. He is a vermling, which is um, kind of like these little rat, the, the tiny little guys, uh, <laughs> like a rat, cat, <laughs> wild person. Um, they're known to kind of be like, uh, I don't know, if you think of like uh, goblins, monsters, creepy crawlies, like they don't have a good reputation. Mm. Uh, they're typically probably what adventurers are slaying normally. So <laughs> uh, as a sun keeper, I'm sort of like um, a warrior on behalf of good or the Lord of Dawn. Uh, so the Eye of Dawn, or Ed, is trying to rehabilitate the Vermlings so to show that we are not merely our stock. We are more than that. Yeah. Wow. Some good PR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. doing, doing my best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure you're doing great. <laughs> what, hey. what sort of fur do you have? Oh, yeah, oh, oh yeah. yes, yes, yes. Okay, so like it's a light white fur mostly uh, with with like red lines going out that he sort of takes as like, oh yes, it's the dawn showing ah, itself. Like, oh, little and he's got indeed. this gold armor with like a little cape. It's just the tiniest little gentleman energy coming off of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ed. <laughs> Perfect. Kate, uh, will you tell it's us adorable. about? adorable. <laughs> yes, I'm also playing a vermling. Uh, the fur, one. yeah, the fur is black like this very pink skin underneath and kind of uh, falling out in places and very <laughs> raggedy like a street cat uh <laughs> my vermlings name is whiskey they are they them mm. and they are a recovering alcoholic um used to be a very uh jack sparrow kind of character back in the thievery days but after going through this deciding to clean out their system and become a healthier person they've lost the bloat they're very slender they got like they got their muscles now but yeah. uh mm -hmm. they're a little more subdued than they used to be so mm -hmm. um they have a few uh issues with their body still like some allergies as a result of the heavy oh. drinking but they're trying to be a uh, a better rap person uh just for their own <laughs> self-development yeah love yeah. that love that for whiskey yeah. <laughs> named whiskey as a recovering because of, <laughs> of the whiskers of but course no, I get it <laughs> because of the whiskers you know, right yeah. it's kind of an implanted thought with the drinking it's not whiskey's <laughs> fault Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, Xander. Yeah, so I'm playing Heat, who is a quatrill, and so also a little, a little person, <laughs> um, has sort of like a bumpy, rough, textured skin that is a little bit lumpy on the top, both from being a quatrill, but also from like taking hits, uh, back in the day. Oh, uh, yeah. Much along the lines of rehabilitation, Heat is working on anger management, but <laughs> as a berserker, sometimes the anger can come in handy. Uh, oh. <laughs> the, there are like scars that are all over his body, but they almost seem decorative as if they have turned cuts and, and things into something to be celebrated or a trophy. Um, they have no ears, but rather like ear holes uh, over their like lumpy head. But their, their two weapons stand out because there are glowing red battle axes strapped to his back. Uh, and you can see on the inscription of the medal, one is named Hard and the other one's named Harder. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love you all. Okay. Um, well, let me set, set you up here. We find you all chomping at the bit eager to complete your very first job together with flying colors, if possible. You've received a request by one Lady Everly Von Trent, a human mm. noble who lives in Spargo, a town nestled in the hills to the east of Corpsewood. She requires an escort through Corpsewood to come to Gloomhaven for this feast of splendor. Oh, she's easy. Offered... <laughs> yeah, she's offered you a scintillating amount of gold in return as well as entry into the feast itself 
though you imagine you could always do some negotiating or maybe snag a good review on your adventurer rating if you do a job well done here. You've already made your way to Spargo when we join you. You rode there in a traveling caravan that dropped you off where you are to meet the lady. Most nobles tend to have their own traveling carriages that you imagine you will be escorting. The home you find yourself in front of is beautiful, with pristinely kept topiaries and bushes of roses, crystal blue water arcing out of fountains, and lanterns lined with decor in reverence to the monarch Urasia. There's an opulent white and gold horse-drawn carriage waiting in the driveway. Oh. What do you do? Hey, uh, Heat, I feel like is has been kind of leading the the two along as uh, he's eager to get going on the mission. And as we crossed into the border, he turns to both uh, Ed and Whiskey and says, like, don't worry, I speak like they do here in Spargo. I'll take the lead. Oh, and yeah. he, <laughs> uh, uh, Ed grabs, closes in and says, like, wait, 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 wait. Listen, I just want to say that, you know, these are fine people in heat. I, I believe you that um, you have the charismatic airs and necessary uh, vocabulary. Mm. But I, I just wanted to say, you know, we, we're it's our first job. We're trying to re rehabilitate our image uh, oh. in, in some ways. And I just wanted to say that I love you all. And we're doing a great job. Wow. Right. right. We got I this. Now that I feel feelings again, I love you too. And uh, right before you take the lead, could you take my hand? That's too big of a jump for me. My equilibrium hasn't recovered yet. Should we all hold hands as we as we enter the well? That I think that I... is a good idea, and it doesn't bother Heat at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you all hold hands <laughs> yeah. and walk into the estate up to the gate. Up to the maybe swinging arms. Is there someone in the carriage like it's being loaded or is it um, em empty and waiting? There is an attendant that is loading it up as we speak. Yeah. Uh, so as we are swinging forward, uh, <laughs> he kind of goes over to this attendant and says, OK, I got this. Ahem. Oh, hello. Uh, I I love I it here you. in Spargo. Uh, where <laughs> do you know where we might find the Lady Von Trent? He's doing I knew so good. you were gonna do this. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew as soon as you said this. Great. <laughs> um, you uh, you approach this attendant who is a human. Um, mm. he's like diminutive. He's got like ashy brown hair that's like slicked back. He's very well dressed, but he's a little skittish. And when you <laughs> oh. show up, he's like, oh, 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 oh so, so, so sorry, you you startled me there. Um. Uh, are you um not from around here? Uh, oh oh, seeing the rest of you, like uh, you must be um the the uh, luck purses as it goes. Our uh, reputation but... precedes us. Yeah, uh, oh. Ed just starts to bow very low, oh, very oh, low. Oh oh, you do no need to bow to me. I am simply um uh the lady's attendant. Uh, you can call me Hubert. Hubert. Don't eat Hubert. Yes, I, I, I will be uh, traveling with you all um, uh, to attend to my lady, but uh, let me go get her now. I think she is almost ready. Mm. As he scoots away, uh, he turns to the other two and is like, I don't trust him. Was it because his dialect did not match yours? Yeah, I don't think he's really from here. Mm. All right, I, that is I your gut. Yeah, I didn't notice, but I trust your instinct. Mm. we'll see um, what they do as uh hubert runs off and he's soon joined behind him as he opens the door to lead the way from the estate lady everly von trent walks out she is human she is wearing a dress coat it's hard to say because it is an incredible amount of layers of purple and gold tool exploding outwards from her. Whoa. She is bedecked <laughs> in like gold and jewels. She's got perfectly manicured long red nails, an incredibly heavy application of makeup, like red lipstick, 
golden eyeshadow atop eyes that are perpetually squinting in judgmental assessment. And she kind of like floats out to you all floating because there doesn't seem to be much movement available <laughs> in this outfit. I, I pull I pull like whiskey down to like take a knee. I was about to say <laughs> that's perfect because whiskey was already thinking about bowing, but that pull down's <laughs> great. Yeah, uh, whiskey goes to lean forward, loses balance, and just lands on the forehead, oh. but just stays there. Like this is fine. <laughs> that is a very good, very deep bow. It's re- it is out of respect. Yes, <laughs> that is what's happened here. Um. Yes. Hello. You are the group that I sent a missive to in Gloomhaven. Yep, hey. we're the luck purses. Mm-hmm. Multiples. Mm-hmm. And you will be able to keep myself and my um accoutrements, my baggages safe as we travel through the corpse wood. Yes, Wait. and Hubert as well, your human companion. Oh yes, Hubert will be there too. I, I will say we will do our best, but guarantees don't come free. So uh, maybe half up front and half when we get there. Half what? The the lucrative payment that was stated in the in the missive. Oh, you would like half up front, would you, darling? Oh goodness, she likes me. I think that's <laughs> oh. what that is. Mm. Yes. Darling, that w- is that appropriate for me to call you darling too? Why don't you do an influence check? For oh me? my <laughs> lord. <laughs> first check, first check. Yay, first check. Lovely. Uh, so tell me how to do. I've got a got a nice <laughs> plus three on my influence. Nice. Okay, so at the end of it on the right hand side, there'll be mm-hmm. a little white uh gotcha. button for you to click on. Got it. Thank and you, Hero you Lab. Be able to did you uh you know what's mad is I pulled the times two first. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So, so it's oh wait. A... No, not the modifier. Like you go In down the... to where your influence attributes are. Oh oh. Like where your attributes are. I scroll down. hmm And then you hit the little card button. I mean yeah. we can honor the times two. I think that that would be either way, that's a crit. It's a yeah. crit. So great. We is, um, very well. Very well, I see. Hubert, she claps in the air. Um get the coin purse for these uh luck purses indeed. And he was like, oh, yeah, yes, yes, of course. And he like runs off quickly and comes back with three different uh, purses full of coin for each of you and hands them to you. Thank like... you very much. I appreciate the installation of your faith in our business and we guarantee at least one yeah. of us will get you to the feast. Hmm. Yes, well, you will all be attending as my guests as well, so I do hope oh. that you will be on the utmost best behavior there. Do we gotta wear ties? Hubert will outfit you with the appropriate attire. It has to be something that won't hold fur. I do tend to shed a lot. Oh, there goes some more. That's oh. it's okay. Right. Thank well, you. We'll we'll make do. Um, what is most important is that nothing happens to my goods. And she gestures right as Hubert with another attendant has come up are putting this large golden chest like at the back of the carriage. May pray tell what it is we are protecting so that we may protect it best. Mm. Oh, but it is my gift for monarch Lurecia. And uh, any of you that think that you pay attention to feasts or events like this may do a knowledge check uh, attribute check at this point Ooh, i think if... i think i would i'm not very good with my knowledge so. <laughs> 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 who better this is part, this is part trying. of Ed trying to keep up with it oh, yeah all right this here we won't are be too hard of a 
Oh so you got a four. Four. Okay. Yeah. Oh. That's that's enough. Um, so you know that it's customary uh for all the guests generally to bring a gift to the monarch. It is celebrating the monarch's birthday, and there's a bit of a like friendly competition amongst the nobles to bring the best gift, you know, and get in the monarch's good graces. Um, so you imagine that that is what they're referring to, but yes, I have uh, uh, prepared and uh, utmost delicacy for the monarch this year, and I will beat that Eva this year. I know he's got the eye uh, of the monarch, but not for long. Ivar skull splitter. Oh, you know him. That I'm is a that is huge the fan. Hero. <laughs> oh, do not be hasty with such words. We are not fans while you travel with me. Oh, my loyalty can be bought. Good. Thanks for I the like, coin. <laughs> I like to hear it. Uh, uh, Ed approaches like the uh, the chest or the the gift and kneels down and puts a hand on it. <laughs> Sniff it, Ed. What does it smell like? Bless it, Ed. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I am. Praying to the Lord of Dawn that this gift arrive unabated. He also it has smells... faith in our ability, but mm-hmm. it's just a, an additional safeguard he does with religion. It does seem to work quite well for him. It's like insurance, if you will. <clears throat> yes. oh, oh, good. I did want the insurance plan. Mm-hmm. As it and so. it smells delicious, Lady Bontrat. Oh, thank you. That's what I well, wanted to Shall we hit the road? I am afraid that you will have to accompany on foot alongside, of course, as I will be within the carriage. Uh, there's no room? Can we well, hitch a wagon on the back? Our legs are about... I come up to, like, your hip, so it's going to be a, a double walking for me. You can if... it, it will climb. be our honor. Oh. Okay, you well, climb just above. Climb you can just sit in front. I can climb on it. Okay, uh, that sounds good. Hubert will be sitting. You can hang off the back. I don't care, but you're not sitting inside with me. That's well. That's fair. We do barely know each other. But... It, it, it would be awkward. <laughs> like, what are we going to discuss with her? You've got Is a good your point. companion all right? Are you <clears throat> fine, sir? Have counted to ten and taken a breath. No oh, good, he can count. And she gets oh. into the carriage. Remember, what would the skull splitter say? Brush her bones and eat them. Okay, that was a bad example. That one is on me. I am very sorry. Just let that out and let it go. I'm very proud of you on your journey right now. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, so <laughs> we begin our journey. So the carriage and yourselves, you make your way out. Um, you can see uh, in roll 20, perhaps, if we can show that. Person. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so you're currently like kind of around uh, number 95 here on this map that we're looking gotcha. at. That's where Spargo is. And you'll be crossing through the Corpsewood and going into Gloomhaven um now easy peasy yeah <laughs> nothing to worry about i mean it's people such an inviting through name. it all, yeah all the time you yeah, have a look the town's called gloomhaven and sure. it's full of festivity so yeah we don't judge what's in a name cover. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so you begin making your way through and you know it is a little creepy at times there are desiccated twisting limbs of trees older than any of you could oh imagine. trees <laughs> trees <laughs> my god xander it was dark <laughs> i didn't know where you were going <laughs> you um as you guys make your way through there is this feeling of malaise and as if eyes are on you at all times but every time you look there's nothing there now, um, how how are you organized? Do you think in the? In I, I think uh, of... <laughs> the eye of dawn is like hanging on the the front side of it, like keeping a watch, like sort of perched 
I feel like you naturally glow too. You just have it's like probably... <laughs> it's a little sheen it's from the little... armor. The You're light. on like the lantern hook for the carriage. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, whiskey was sitting on the back because that looked like a very good place to sit. But as soon as the wagon started moving, white knuckling, trying to hold on, bad balance, and oh uh, yeah. Just trying to think of any reason to uh, not be sitting here anymore. And Whiskey perks up, jumps off the back, runs double speed up to the front to Hubert. And we'd like to ask Hubert a question once once we know where Heat is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then Heat. is it being pulled by a horse, multiple horses? Two horses. Two horses. Heat's on one of the horses in the front, uh, actively looking for enemies. Uh, <laughs> hard is in one hand. Uh, and he's sort of like surfing on the saddle like actively up and moving along with the horse (laughs) okay all right so uh don you said that you were uh hanging kind of off of a lantern (laughs) hook-esque so So alongside yeah off the alongside like the front the corner yeah and whiskey said you wanted to be at the front with yes kind of like um i have a question for you (laughs) Um, yes, yes. Does your lady mayhaps have any active enemies, debt sold, or people um, after her presently that we should be keeping an eye on? And I may remind uh, you that withholding information may uh, have a detrimental uh, impact on the mission as whole. Oh, uh, uh, y- y- yes. Um. Well, just, you know, I, I, enemy is such a strong strong word i i uh, i you know the lady is so pleasant to Hi. be around so i, I smell couldn't... bullshit <laughs> <laughs> sorry that might have been me <laughs> i noticed um, that quiver and i don't see a bow so i'll take that little sub subtext message to heart and let the others know uh didn't mean to rhyme there sorry that's a <laughs> after effect of the drinking um so it just <laughs> There isn't like any one particular we should be looking out for. Just general thieves and rapscallions. You know, this is a very bumpy road. Is there not a straighter road? Oh no, this is this is the it... road uh, that we go through. I mean, you know, as 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 the lady mentioned, um, the, she does not get along with uh, Mister Torson. You know, skull splitter Torson. Um, Possibly they... sabotage. Well, I don't think he would go that far. Uh, he, he, you know, is still an upstanding mercenary and has a reputation. I don't think it would come to blows by any means oh, whatsoever. He, he may outsource, I understood. All right, well, let me know if you think of anything else. I'm going to find a slightly uh, more my size place to sit. <laughs> Could I get an attrib- an influence attribute check from you first? Sure, Ooh. sure. Uh, so we have, it says zero three for six total. Yes. Yeah. It, Great. It does all the math for you. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> okay. So six is pretty good. Okay. Um, you know, I, 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 I do know that the lady has had eyes. Wait, from- sorry. What's that? I I fell off a little bit, but it's okay. I do know that the lady does have eyes for the monarch, as you know, as as does everyone, and and I think there perhaps was a little jealousy in the, you know, attention Eva may have gotten. Ah, okay. Well, that's that's good to know. Thank you for bringing that to my attention, and uh, just like. I'm gonna go back in the back of me. <laughs> oh. Runs around the back and hops on the roof and just yes, kind of yes. holds on. Okay, on the roof. Great. Yeah. Like kind of down low. Mm. Fantastic. Like, you can see the ears. Yes. <laughs> well, since we've got heat on the horse in the front, heat, can I have you do a uh, let's do a focus. Oh no! See if you can... No, <laughs> yeah, we can, we can, we can. I just have a plus zero, so or, or anything that you might argue, like for being aware of your surroundings. And no, I, if... let's do focus. I think that okay. fits. 
Uh, so I'll you might get lucky and draw a card for it. A two, <laughs> <laughs> two total. It's plus two total. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great. I see everything. Nothing gets past <laughs> this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you move along, um, something very nearby, like you start hearing little <laughs> out of the corner, like coming from, it's got to be so close as you're you're going down this road and there's a log um, sort of on the side of the road and you swear you, you see something kind of glimmering behind it. Uh, as soon as that happens, Heat's going to pull on the reins of the horse that he's on to try to stop. Like pulling the emergency brake on a bus. Okay. <laughs> Whiskey rolls backwards, the ears disappear, and the two little feet come up. <laughs> Laugh. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> the visual. Yeah. Great. Um, do you you say anything to your stop? <laughs> we already stops. <laughs> and you hear like a little. <laughs> What's so funny down there? Uh, you hear it too. I yes. It's not you laughing at your own jokes again. Not this time. Uh -oh. Perhaps it's forest children. <laughs> I hate I, I don't them. know if that's a real thing. Oh, but <laughs> we should go investigate. I don't. I don't want to do that. I'll go. Don't go alone. Children, God is children, and you see these little like wings like pop out from behind the the log as this little forest imp like stands up proud and she's like how dare he and she's, she's <laughs> turning back and talking to someone like further down the road and sort of flitters further back throw oh. some snacks and run away uh, uh, i start um. <laughs> he starts looking for snacks to throw <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, um, do you... I've, I've got carry... some rations. Yeah, sure. You want to try throwing some rations out to them? Just a little. <laughs> Just okay. Th and uh, so the suggestion from Whiskey was probably like, they'll eat the snacks and go away. Whiskey, or uh, Heat takes it as, this is your ammo. Now hit them. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey was thinking, throw some rations, avoid a bashing, but you're doing the bashing with the ration. I see. Por que no Oh dos. my gosh, the rhymes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> why don't we uh, take a look on... Roll twenty and Ooh, show you oh, the map that we're looking yeah. at right here. Whoa. <laughs> dun dun. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and those are the imps, I assume. Good. Yeah, you see two little forest imps. Yeah. On the map. Okay. And um, oh gosh, I should have done this ahead of time. But I can also do your movement. Wait, I can assign these to you. Lovely. Let me. We're doing it live. This is very cool. <laughs> Someone tell me how I saw. Oh my gosh, we're <laughs> literally at the position. Right. Look at that, Josephine. You're yes, absolute you're legend. You're in position. Perfect. That's why I needed to know where you are. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, here. <laughs> That's so cool. Um. Okay. Yes. Does anyone know how I assigned this to you? Um. Let's see. Let's see. Um. I feel like I've done this before, but I don't. Oh. 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 I I got this. Oh, okay. I got this. Okay, so hanging off the side is uh Ed. Flesh mm, Bill. And you <laughs> should be able to <laughs> Oh yeah. Control oh, yeah. And oh. on top is cake. AKA Amazing <laughs> Whiskey. On the horse, we've got Xander. So AKA Heat. Yes. Okay. Great. Ah. Now you can control your little creatures. Perfect. <laughs> You're just going to jump from horse yeah, to horse. Horse to horse. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do the splits like so... John Claude Van Damme. <laughs> 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 Hubert sort of says, uh, I, I'm going to stay back for a moment until you can assess this situation. I don't like giggling things. And <laughs> Fair. He sort of like... <laughs> He goes to the side and opens the door as if and mutters something to the lady 
and looks as if he's like about to try and go in when he's like promptly pushed out and he's like oh i'll just wait right here by the the side of this cabbage (laughs) i think uh ed drops down with like a loud or like yeah for his size a surprisingly loud like clunk of his armor (laughs) and he uh steps forward he's like allow me to handle this i'm very good with children Whiskey uh, uh, is still on the top, but goes, good, I'm not good with children, and then takes the dagger and jams it in the top of the door so that it can't be opened from either ah, side. Oh, ooh, Whiskey's clever. Right, He's holding to... a ration as if it's going to throw it. And that's can, it. Just waiting can for the I get knowledge attribute checks from all of you to see <laughs> what you know of Forrest Dibbs? If anything. If anything. I got a five. Ooh, a four total. Seven. Ooh, okay. I can remember things now I'm off the bottle. Good, good. (laughs) All right. Well, with a seven, um, well, all of you know that like forest imps are known to be sort of playful creatures that are that are in forests, as the name would tell you. Um, Whiskey, you know that they is particularly like to cause chaos and mm. frustration and trickery. And they like to mess with those that they come across. Uh, they like to distract people and they're generally very good at doing so. It's usually someone that you're wary of for since. Are they, can they be deadly? Sure. Are they little flying creatures? You know what? Y'all are also little. Yeah, they're even yeah. littler though. Oh, but they're probably just kind of average <laughs> in comparison <laughs> to you. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's what you know. So with that knowledge, uh, after jamming the dagger in, whiskey's clambering uh, uh, back into back onto the very top of the carriage to keep an eye out. Oh, I remember these guys now came back to me. Every time I stumbled home drunk from the inn, I had to go through this little forest path. And I always cleared it of things I would trip on because I would trip all the time. Mm. But every time I walked through the forest, I would trip. And it's these little guys. They're quite pranksters. They get a lot of joy out of causing chaos. So we'll uh, either we can play into it and make them happy. Usually we'll come out with a bruise or two. Or, you know, we can not play into it. But they get kind of angry. So just so you know what we're dealing with. Noted, noted. Okay, so so prepare yourself for some jesting and japes. I'm great with that, as you can tell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh gosh, if he gets roasted, he's gonna explode. Uh, it's okay. I gotta, I got him in my sights. <laughs> what yeah. ration are you holding there? It's Ooh. not the good cheese, is it? No, it's one of the the heavy bars. It's just questionable material that keeps you going. Oh, it's one of those bars that's really dry and explodes when you eat it, kind of like shrapnel. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, crumbs everywhere. I don't know what crumbs that's like. everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> wasn't a little in-joke. <laughs> <laughs> Minutes before we started the stream, I was like, I know a great snack. No, <laughs> no <laughs> bar everywhere. <laughs> Looking closely uh, at the ration bar, it says Nature Valley on it, yeah. like imprinted. <laughs> <laughs> Um, natural right, so, chasm. Yeah, we, <laughs> they are right to move up to like approach here. Yes, so you can. Up. But as you do, the one closest to you is like, <laughs> and sort of moves back. Oh, and sort of I... waves at you from the road. Hi, hello, hello, my friend. As uh, are you? Are we doing a game right now? Yes. Yes. <laughs> We're doing a game. I love games. What are the rules? That's a good question. Come closer and I'll tell you. Don't <laughs> don't don't go any closer. You ever I, see I love... coyotes hunt? <laughs> and Lady oh, Everly's yeah. like banging on the side, like, what's the hold up? Whiskey's just like shh. Oh. I I uh, I sort of like I turned back to Whiskey and I like Get the eyes, and I look back, and then I'm, um, listen, I'm not very fun sometimes. Um, I tend to have a analytical mind. I have my faith and all. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm getting too into myself. Are you telling the forest imp this? Yeah, I'm yeah. telling the forest great. imp this. Great, great, great. Um, see, I'm prattling on. 
Listen, <laughs> you this would like to a little bit closer. You would like to minorly annoy someone, would you not? Annoy? No, we would never, 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 no, 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 not us, no. Totally. 100%, I believe you. We are transporting a very highfalutin noble. <gasps> Ooh, important yeah. high noble. Ooh, treasure, treasure. Oh my god, here we go, it's happening. Uh -oh. <laughs> if you wanted to, oh, yeah? I don't know. And he gets, he gets a little closer, like... Make hey. some <laughs> forest noises, or um, I don't know, make her spill her milk. I'm sure that that would be better than playing a game with us. Oh. oh, what do you think? What do you think? Ooh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Um, do an influence. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Do an influence <laughs> attribute check for me. Here we go. Beans a four total. Oh, four total. Like, yeah, okay. Yes, you keep coming and we'll just we'll just do a little trick, just a little trick. Is it me or the whole carriage? All of you. I I look back. <laughs> We're good to go through, I guess. I don't know if that's Ness that but yet yeah, okay, thank you for being the extrovert. Eat will a, uh slowly kick one of the horses to life to like uh uh trot. Okay, and now is where I move the carriage and horses. Can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> and uh huh. We'll go mm -hmm. up to meet where Ed is, and if things are still like copacetic, then Ed could like hop on as we go by. Whiskey yep. leans over the door and says, uh, my okay, lady, horses um, are moving up. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the lead is real long. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, the, the carriage will <laughs> catch up. In a <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. Uh, Whiskey leans over the door that's still jammed with the dagger and says, my lady, we've come across some pranksters. I have, we have come up with a master plan as a team to uh, deal with it. But just on your part, if I bang three times on the top of the carriage, just go ahead and scream absolute murder. And that may satiate their desire for chaos. And we can pass hopefully without much incident. Sorry for the weirdness. Okay, shush now. Uh, yes, yes, uh, whatever it takes. Good, good. Uh, Whiskey's so smart. <laughs> I know, Whiskey really is smart. Kate, I like you're so smart. <laughs> 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 I was like, I wish you'd say that where Whiskey could hear you. <laughs> uh, wow, we have some uh, diagonal movement on the cart, and um, let's just imagine that just it's gonna... moved up behind... <laughs> <laughs> You know, we're not great at driving. <laughs> Whiskey's yes. just like, ah, if you're on top of it, we're just going to move you up. And that's presumably where the car is. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. The horses are there. Um, And let's see. Okay. So as you start getting closer, um, I don't like that look happens. on your face, Josephine. I know. Nothing happens. You keep moving forward. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to climb on board the nearest horse next to heat. Okay, great. I'm just moving. Is the there wall. like uh you mentioned before that they had come from behind like a log. Is there a specific thing that they were sort of hiding behind or is it just like what was around? That bottom log that you see was the one that you first heard it behind. Gotcha. Um I can't believe I could get this this uh cart to the move. brown square. The brown square. I might just make a new one. Um as you guys arrive at this point, the other force sort of flits to the back of the cart. Oh. Uh, whiskey hears oh. the giggling go behind the cart, and Whiskey is flat on top of the cart because it was doing the ping pong, but like scoots over to the <laughs> back and just goes, Hello, would you like to tell me a joke, perhaps? But if you're looking here, then that means... It worked. And Whiskey <laughs> tries to turn, but isn't fast enough. <laughs> At that point, um, dee, 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 we Aww. are going to go into coma. No! <gasps> I'm going to reveal. Uh, 
do 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 or things popping up in yes. the at the uh -huh. end of this path oh oh good i'm, I'm so disappointed <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> i didn't see what the hell little vermling raiders pop no! up from behind the bushes and the logs and they're like we got them and they oh hey george like, Still doing the bad shit, I see. Uh, is that you, Whiskey? That's, ah, that's me. Yeah. You stole me! And they go running <laughs> towards... Uh, Well, we'll see if they go running towards us. We're going to start our combat here. <laughs> um, So, it, you will toggle over to combat in your little character sheets in Hero Labs. So good. And now you have your hand at your disposal. So, everyone is going to choose their um what their cards are going to be and on the cards in the middle there should be an initiative you can use either of the initiatives on there and once everyone has decided we'll go through and figure out what everyone's initiative is d d d so they are, are we're paying attention to distance between us with the yes hexes. because things yes have range you might need to move up closer there might be like a lot of movement in this first one That's so fine in each of the hex square is that one point of movement as far mm -hmm. as we're concerned okay yes one point of movement it's a hex square but whatever yes uh, <laughs> <hex is> <laughs> you know what i meant space <laughs> <laughs> yeah and um, I will give yeah. Whiskey, I will give you a free um, attribute check real quick for focus, just to see what the forest imp is doing at the back of the cart before you turn around. Okay, good. Uh, nice. Plus two for seven total. Oh, nice. Yes. Um, she's clearly very interested in this golden chest that is mounted at the back of the cart. Uh great <laughs> uh uh great good good <laughs> okay um how do we feel about our selections selected solid uh question solid. uh are we able to see the hit points of the monsters do the, the forest imps have hit points can uh, are they in combat with us or is it just the they are in combat with you ah. okay okay uh, before uh, we <laughs> misunderstand each other here, if you could look me in the eyes and nod at what's back here, could, would you like to share your intention before I uh, misinterpret your actions and we have an accident? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> okay, I know what you mean. Got it. <laughs> right, one sec. Okay. And then we could discuss amongst ourselves when we're selecting our initiative, right? Or is it something we do on our own? Uh, I can answer that for you if you like. Sure. It's yeah. kind of done in role play form. So gotcha. you wouldn't discuss exact numbers. But for example, right. if you had a really low initiative, you could say, I'm going to move quickly. Yeah. Or I'm going to do a lot of damage or a little damage. Or I'm, I'm not going to hurt anyone this round. That's that's how you can role play around uh, and telling us what you're going to do without actually telling us. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Who has? Are you? Do we feel chosen? Yep. Almost. Chosen, um... I feel chosen. I, I feel think I'm going chosen. to be going at like a medium, a, a medium, a medium quickish speed. I've got to yeah. do some preparation before oh, this uh, gets nasty. A little prep work. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm leaping oh. into action. There's vermlings. <laughs> They're vermlings just like you. <laughs> I well, want to try quite. to talk them down, but yeah. <laughs> well, again, so you can always ask. So once we've chosen, um, you can always on your turn choose to do something else besides one of those actions. You'll pick a top action on one of your cards and a bottom action, but instead of one of them, you can do an attribute check depending on what it is that you want to do. So mm. you can do other things besides just attacking or your abilities. I have a question for the cards. I have one that allows me to yes. control and do damage. Mm -hmm. um, I know that if there's, for example, two dudes, I can control this dude to hurt this dude. But if there's one dude, can I control them to hurt themselves? Oh. Oh. Sure. Yay! <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. 
<laughs> no, yep. don't actually stop. But yeah, don't stop. Because of the spell. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> doing it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Are we all chosen? Let me know your initiative numbers, please. Yeah. Heat is at a 14. 14. Ooh, nice. Ed is at a 21. One whiskey's at 18. 18. Wow, pretty low. Okay. Um, so this forest imp that is closest to you is at a five. Fudge sickles. <laughs> uh, in the back. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And the and so she is going to um yes, she is going to phase out. <gasps> which she all of a sudden like gets this like shield effect you might think that she got a shield that came up in that moment and um she heals but she doesn't need to and then all of a sudden there is a uh affinity a element infusion that happens the shielding that happens around her almost seems like leaves intertwining or vines giving her this protection and the earth Uh element is infused into the land around you so now earth is at strong remember at the end of each round that will decrease and you can potentially use your element infusions to power up other abilities if you have something that uses it and just to double check that's like the leaf symbol yes that's the leaf symbol all right, hey, so. hey, fellow fellers, uh, I know we're used to me seeing double, but uh, I'm seeing nothing now. It's really weird. Is that normal or is that? We well, still see her there. She's just quite shielded. She's all uh-huh. blurry. Oh, yeah. no. They've uh, got uh, tricks. They got tricks. tricks. <laughs> okay, next <laughs> will be Heat. So Heat, yeah. what are you doing? So let me pull up my cards here. For uh, the first card I have is Unbridled Power. And I'm going to okay. use the bottom half of it uh, for moving three. So I'm going to okay. take uh, one, a two, a three, right in front of this forest imp. Uh, and there is almost like a defensive stance that uh, Heat takes with one of the battle axes because he gains one point of retaliation. Ooh, so if he okay. gets hit next turn or at any time, it's one point dealt back as okay. part of unbridled power. Uh, and uh, for the top half of the second... Oh, here, I could perform bottom action. There it goes. Okay. So if I do... um. Perform the top action here. Whenever you retaliate, I get to heal however oh, much I retaliate towards much, myself. Okay. Uh, this is growing rage. If after your heal, your current hit point value is half your maximum or less, repeat this ability once. Okay. So that's like prepping the ability if, if the retaliation yes. goes off. But otherwise, you'll get to just do it once unless you're at lower hit points. Okay, exactly. So you'll get healed for one with the current setup. But- so yeah, he leapt off of this horse nice. in uh, in almost a rage, but not quite, a very controlled <laughs> uh, movement, uh, slinks up to this imp. And hearing the warning from Whiskey, too, of these things have tricks, just sort of goes to swing, but then backs up a little bit and takes okay. like, a ready stance instead. So you're ready to attack, but you're you're holding on. Okay. All right, so that's you. That's heat. Next up will be whiskey. Okay, uh, whiskey will be using psychic blade, bringing out the augment. Your single target melee attack abilities may target enemies within two hexes of you. Ooh, okay. Um, that will also do, do damage and curse, and I can uh control the target of the attack ability to move them one. No. On top of that, nice. okay. I'll be using the bottom <laughs> part of Withering Claw, control one enemy within four hexes to do two damage. So first thing I will do is I will do the Withering Claw, control one enemy within four hexes to do two okay. damage, and I'm going to aim that at the imp. Hopefully the it will confuse at the... at the back, yeah. At the back, okay. So how much damage is that? It says two, two. and because they're attacking themselves... Um, within their shields. <laughs> I'm hoping that that helps. 
it uh, uh, it will still get eaten by the shield. Um, yeah, good. But I will look at what their attack at and you add that to it, basically. Their own Beautiful. attack. Um, yes. Plus the two. Yes. Um, but it is still eaten by the shield. Okay. Um, because it was a pretty hefty mm-hmm. shield. That came and is the, sh- oh, the shield is some, uh, got it, I remember. Uh, and then for the augment, um, that will be two damage adding a curse to the mob's deck. Okay. All right. I'm adding a curse. Oh. Got it. Cursed and card in my deck. Perfect. And with <laughs> that, I will push the imp back away from us. Away. One, um, one space. Okay. Let me do that. Okay, so back here. Oh, I didn't roll my uh, attack modifiers. Oh, yes. Yes. So for the first attack, I get a minus one. So that's minus one. It gets eaten. Okay. And for the second attack, it was the base attack. That's a zero. So you kind of did. (laughs) I did. Yes, thank you. Okay, great. (laughs) Yeah, perfect. And is that you then? That is. Okay, next we will have uh, Ed. <laughs> Ed, all right. Um, so I'm going to move to get closer to uh, Heat here. Okay. And um, then I would like to use my Empowering Command to grant... Actually, no. Yes, to uh, to grant him advantage and bless... Oh, you're going to strengthen him. Okay, strengthen, strengthen bless. Okay, so uh, to a target within three. Yes, so so heat, you get to add a blessed card into your modifier deck, thanks to Ed's empowering command, and you are strengthened, so you will have advantage on all attacks, and then it'll be removed at the end of your next turn. Great. I'll put that in. How how do I add a bless card? Is it just, just that it looks like a little plus button next yes. to the okay, cool. Did the that one that's yellow one in there. Yeah, on the yellow one. Gotcha. And uh it looks like you also have increased you there's a elemental infusion of the land that happens with this empowering command. Yes. Even, oh, because it would have gone down to waning and now it's back up at strong. No, no, no. It's only at the end of the round that it'll go uh... down. Yes. So we're still at strong, but now light is also up at strong thanks to this empowering command. So make sure you move your light element up to strong. Yeah, I, I uh, Ed approaches and puts a hand on Heat's shoulder and he says, this time, uh, don't count to 10. Mm. Uh, as you say <laughs> that, the blessing sort of infuses into the scars as they light up all over his body. And it looks more like ritualistic tattoos in a way now. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, and your bottom action. Oh, uh, so I so I moved oh. to using you my bottom action. To. Ah, I yeah. see. You did that first. Yeah. Okay, great. So that is your turn. And next is the enemies, the Vermlings. Okay, the Vermling Raiders. Here they come. <laughs> George, I know I still owe you money for alcohol, but I'm actually sober now, so maybe clean slate for both of us. Okay, it's like, nah, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, This one moves up to, and it will attack. We'll do a careful throw at Ed, who he sees infusing the land with light and notices his fellow Vermling. He's like, you think you're better than us? Uh, and he attacks four. Let's see here. Do you say what is what are they attacking with? Like a bow? Um, he's or... attacking it's a careful throw, so it's kind of like careful a little throw. spear. Little gotcha. spear. And it's a critical failure, so <laughs> you don't get hit. <laughs> the first <laughs> half of that was terrifying. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. a critical <laughs> failure. Sorry about that. Didn't um, as they throw kind of like falls. <laughs> well, I'm probably better than you. <laughs> <gasps> Well, hey, we heard that, and the others move <laughs> here and here. They can't move very far, but let's see. One, two, three. Okay, so the one at the bottom of the log then targets heat and does the same thing, throwing a, a spear. Mm. 
for let's see this is a disadvantage they've got a negative one on this so and their attack is only one so <laughs> doesn't do any damage <laughs> it just like you know falls short you're you're blessed you're everything you're like dodging <clears throat> left and right if it had and... done any damage though it would have gone right back at them so they lucked oh, out true. their end <laughs> true true and the other ones are not one two three in range just yet but they are getting ready for the next round and dang <laughs> oh one more imp huh the four yeah imp. hit me that's right that one is. <laughs> yep okay let's see which one did i pick here we go so she is going to attack you she's gonna try she's gonna try and it's like she comes in like to bite and scratch at your neck that's not a bite fight <laughs> And she does, she attacks for two damage. Two damage, dang. Okay, two damage, so then but do you one have, retaliates um... back. Yep, one retaliates Ooh. back. All right. She's like, ow! And she then... looks rough. She looks like <laughs> real small. So, <laughs> like that probably did a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> two, okay. And I took, I took two as well. Yeah, you took two. Unless, do you have any? Let's look at so your. looking for shielding or anything like that. Yeah. Do you not have? Um, I have an my exos. exos. Oh, but that doesn't negate any damage. Yeah. No. So I think that that's correct oh. for you right now, unless you it have says, something. When attacked, consider any times two attack modifier card the enemy draws to be a plus zero instead. So you can't crit on me. Yeah, I can't crit on you. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> is you okay don't crit on me <laughs> don't crit on me all right and mm -hmm. so that is everyone in the in the round oh actually i think she may move because she can move nope yep yes and so she flits back okay and i believe this is when it activates my other ability whenever oh. you retaliate i get to heal one yes because i dealt yes. one so i get one back yeah so you get your heal and she flits back to over here. <gasps> <laughs> and that's the end of our round. Now, so hit end round on your character sheets. And round. And your all of the elements will go down to waning. Oh, it did it automatically. Yes. That's awesome. Sweet. Exciting. <laughs> And now we're doing it again. So everyone choose your cards, which you'll be attacking with, and then we will go through our initiative. And I will decide. Yeah. Uh, how, how do we discard our cards that are still out? Uh, they should automatically go into automatically the discard. discard. That's what I thought. Um, and if not, there should be, when you click on them, a way to discard them through the little three dots in the top right corner on the card. Thank you. If that, if that isn't working. Yes. All right. Beautiful. And so everyone here is playing from their stamina decks. And so their their hand, their deck, is actually how much stamina the players have. So like rolling through a bunch of cards can get exhausting if they don't take a breath every now and then mm. to recover some. Um, how's it looking? I have chosen. You've I have chosen, chosen. my initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I had to just write down my augment so I don't forget. Okay. Well, <laughs> let me see. I'm going to try some fun things, I think. Okay, I'm going to try to move pretty quickly in the initiative. So oh, okay. that's my goal is to to come out swinging for this one. Come out swinging. Okay, so you've let them know. Yeah. I think I'm going to try to hit someone this time. So I'll, I'll, I'll move <laughs> relatively quickly. <too. laughs> okay. All right. So let me hear those initiatives. I have a 10 for heat. 10 for heat. 17 for Ed. Ooh, wow. 20 for Whiskey. Wow, okay. All right. You are all going first. Okay, Heat? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to use the bottom half of Resolute Stand, which gives me four movement. Uh, okay. Perform bottom action. And I'm going to go... 
uh it great well actually yeah it grants me four movement but i'm not going to use all of it i'm just going to go one two up to here wait wait let me see huh? where that first step was oh here one uh, does it trigger anything for being next to them no you're good cool <laughs> <laughs> I just, um, as we get closer i'll just need to see each step guys <laughs> Gotcha, Very gotcha. Fun. Oh, <laughs> at, while we're doing that then, that was one, two. I'll do uh -huh. three, three here. Okay. No, no, Ooh. just kidding. Just kidding. No, nope. stay there. Okay. <laughs> I thought I could get it far enough, but I can't. Uh, so anyway, I'll use the top half of small stature. Uh, and that okay. gives me, uh, let me just look it up again. All attacks targeting you this round get disadvantaged, but I get oh, to do okay. a two- uh, attack. Yes. Uh, yes. You're going to attack for two. So you're going to draw a modifier for that and tell me what the total is. And so you're attacking which dude, bro? I the see. one right in front of me. Okay. Draw. Plus two. Plus two total. <laughs> Wait. Okay. So it's an attack two total. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you attack him because it doesn't look like he's got any shielding. Just you oh. just stab him right in the right in the guts, but he's Perfect. still alive. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> and then as part of the small stature, I get to yeah. move three. I believe that's what that hex arrow three symbol no, means. That's that is you are attacking within a range of within three. a range of three. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. So that'll be it for now. But I do have an ability that if I can line up the enemies correctly, that I'll be able to hit both of them at the Ooh, same time. Nice. That's what I was trying that'll to be do. Fun. Yeah. Couldn't get there yet. That's my turn. <laughs> All right, Ed. All right, uh, I'm going to use Daybreak from the bottom action on there. Is, does it Ooh, okay. does top or bottom matter? What goes first or second? No, no. Okay. Um, all right, then I'm going to move two of my three here. Okay. Um, Wait. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, and now all attacks targeting me this round gain disadvantage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remind me of that when I Wait. start attacking you. <laughs> Sorry, I just Wait. remembered. I have advantage on attacks from the bless, right? No, no, is no. That... Oh. Blessed is a oh. card that is shuffled oh, into, into your the... deck. Yes. Never so but you did. Up. I think you had advantage from my uh, last card, Power and Command. Or it's made you strengthen, which gives you advantage. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So let... You have advantage from your strengthen. I'm going to yes. draw one more time then. Sorry, which, sorry, sorry. By the way, um, you can mark on your character sheet as well. The little strengthen is that blue flexi arm. So to remind yourself uh, next time when uh... you get a condition, there's all of the markers are on there so you can mark it for yourself. Because I believe the two times card is a cr crit, right? Oh, yeah. Did you just get a crit? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, does it tell you the total damage? It says plus zero. Oh, that's not right. Okay, so what times two and your attack was a two. So we're Was it two? Four? Um, yeah, we're going to make it a four. But you had a three before. Sorry. No, you're fine. I let's let's do it. You slay this guy. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this guy is dead, and the guy behind is like, "Oh, Ted, 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 Ted deserved it." Oh no! Why this? He's got a family at home. Ted. He's like on his knees, tending to Ted. But Ted is dead. Ted is dead. <laughs> well, he's sorry. Very least, his friends may drag him home. Right, unconscious. Uh, I shot the whiskey. Was did did you owe Ted money? Because if so, <laughs> you're. You know what? I don't remember, but uh, George is definitely peeved. Uh, if you could take care of him, that'd be great. But also, uh, I forget. Okay. 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 So Ed, you were in the middle of your turn, right? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> no, you're totally good. <laughs> Um, oh, this is a technical question that I should have asked before. Can I use the top and bottom of one card? Does it need to be top and bottom no. of? Okay, the perfect. Two different, yeah. Well, then I will do what I was planning on doing and perform the top <laughs> action of uh, what is it? Defensive stance. Okay. Uh, so you are going to attack this, the guy uh, in front this of you, little gentleman nice here, little yeah. gentleman, <laughs> <laughs> small sir. Or you're attacking for one, and you are going to be stunning him. Mm -hmm. Cannot perform abilities or use or trigger items. Remove at end of next turn. Okay, so I will be stunned for one round, and you're 
now can flip a modifier for your attack on that one. Ooh, plus two total. Okay, right. so you're doing yeah, three. You're attacking for three, and you get him. He's like, he's still up, but he's uh looking worse for where he's like, oh, hey, you guys are brutal. <laughs> I so yeah, I smash with my hammer, and I'm like, oh, listen, we don't need to do this. I, I, I don't know. We're just doing what they told us to do. He's like motioning towards the little forest stems. Mm. Forget them. Come to mass on on Sunday with me. <laughs> and you have literature. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have I have some pamphlets. If you just give me a second, tucked in my armor. Mass, mass. They always just look at us weird. They just just go back to the forest. It's not fair. I know, I know, oh. brother. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> okay, cool. After the fight, we'll talk. <laughs> Don't kill this one. <laughs> Knock him out. Okay. Okay. It is your actions, Ed. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's it for my turn. Okay, whiskey. <laughs> you know how I said my initiative was 20? What I meant was 51. Does that change anything? Yes, it changes. <laughs> 51? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Such a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Okay. Everybody gets one, but I won't do it again. <laughs> no, you get as many as you need. Um, all right. So the forest imps will go. All right. Then here we go. There it is a dark charm coming your way. The forest up at the bottom closest to whiskey. You are within three hexes from them. They don't get to move with this anyway. They are going to mutter a little dark charm and there's like these dark tendrils of spores that make their way towards you as they (laughs) attack you. Let's see what they get. (laughs) There's no damage, but you do get a curse card. Oh. shuffled into a your modifier deck and they consume the light element that was out oh no so that goes down to inert wow. and they also curse poor hubert who's right next to you <laughs> hubert <sighs> no yep and then the one at the top one two three targets ed actually are you in three one two three actually they target heat yeah Why not? they're targeting heat because heat just killed ted <laughs> yeah guilty and <laughs> they have this long little spiny tail this forest imp and it starts flicking out and these little spines shoot towards you for a little rotten sting you see Ooh, oh um Oh, I'm sorry. All attacks gonna... have disadvantage against me because of my okay. small stature okay. ability. So we'll do that disadvantage. And also against against Ed as well, right? Apparently, yeah. Because I forgot we have another element. They consume the earth element and it targets both of you. Oh. Ooh, you each get hit. Let's see. I'll do this at disadvantage. Disadvantage. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Just hopping around. <laughs> pew, pew. Dodging the tail. Um, okay, so for Ed, you take one damage. Beans. And you're poisoned. <gasps> oh no. And then heat, you take one damage oh. and are poisoned as well. Oh no. Is there a good um, place? So poison. Yeah. Means that all attackers now will gain one extra attack against you, and it prevents healing. It oh no! Will be removed. It will be removed when you heal, though. As oh, soon okay. as you have a heal, it'll remove your poison um, condition, and that looks like the little skull and crossbones on your conditions. If you want to toggle that on, <laughs> where are conditions on? Is this out of? Uh... It's right next to the elements on our uh, combat. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Thank you. And, um, okay. And that will be them. 
And so remember, all of the elements have been consumed. Now everything should be inert again. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. And so now we are at whiskey. Okay. Now, what you just did was pretty rude. Um, it went all blurry, and then you made me feel bad. Um, I'm just going to fuse. And whiskey scurries <laughs> over <laughs> with scurry for three Yay. movements. So it's one, two, and goes bonk. Right on the top of the head for <laughs> two damage with a modifier of minus one. So it's what? So it's very, it's all confusion. It doesn't mm. even go through the shield. Um, but then with feedback loop, loop on the bottom half, I'm going to move four. And if I end my movement in the same hex as I started, all enemies move through gain muddle. So confusion dance, confusion oh, dance, confusion does a little hot dance. stop and like dances through the <laughs> imp and then goes back to standing between the imp and the carriage. Muddled okay, so for the enemy. So muddled and then so disadvantage on all attacks. Okay, great. And um, what, how much damage did you do though? Um, I did one, so okay, okay. Not for nothing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay um oh yeah vermlings but you stunned the one in front of you right ed yes yes so it is stunned so he cannot perform abilities or use or trigger items um so i believe that'll just be its turn i don't think he can unless he can just do a basic attack hmm is that an Ability, action, <laughs> ability, different things, perhaps. Hmm. I'm gonna say I'm gonna rule that the stun just has him stunned. Also, so, your words yeah, has yeah. such an effect, and he's really like, really considering that, if he should turn a new leaf here. That was the stun. Like, yeah, the, that, that was like, kind of bonked him, and I was like, hey, that was the stun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. Okay, but the other one's like Ted. <laughs> runs forward over Ted's unconscious body and goes to attack Heat. Come at me. <laughs> Coming at you. Let me see, actually. Which one did I choose? Do, 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 do. Oh. Yes. All right. The attack. Here we go. Oh, how confusing. It's a one minus one plus one. <laughs> One. <laughs> one. <laughs> so one damage and uh they've got oh and they disarm you. Oh, oh. my arms. <laughs> <laughs> so you cannot attack next turn. So that's what I'm gonna it. do. You remove it at the end of your next turn. Josephine, that's what I was gonna do. I know, I know, buddy. Oh. But he's like and and this guy is like no more violence. <laughs> yeah. It throws down my two battle axes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got tears in his eyes. Um, and that's the end of the round. If you guys want to end round and start this once more. End round. <laughs> and uh, Whiskey, to be clear, you are on the cart. We're imagining the cart is right there behind the behind the horses fyi but oh fine. still on you're... the top yeah okay great yeah, yeah yeah you're you're doing great thank you okay here we go we've got one stunned stunned <laughs> vermling reconsidering his life choices we've got one crying vermling mourning his friend ted who just got <laughs> utterly destroyed and we have two very devilish forest imps up to no good no good. Mm -hmm. Clarifying question. We cannot create an element and use it in the same round, correct? Uh, unless or unless can you we? Have the, yeah, if you have the abilities that create it and then destroy it. Uh, I mean, or you consume it. Yeah, if you have two separate abilities, I, yes, you can. Don't quote me on that, but in this game, yes, you can. <laughs> Brilliant. Love it. In our game. Now, what mischief shall I do to you all this turn? Yeah. All right. Uh, heat is going to be acting pretty quickly again and putting up defenses and maybe a little bit of healing. 
Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I'll uh, I'll I'll probably be going a little, but around the same pace. I anticipate you'll probably be ahead of me. Okay. Let me just choose the wormlings. Well, actually, yeah, I'm conflicted about what the wormlings are gonna do here. <laughs> um. Okay. Actually, I do know. <laughs> All right. Do we know our initiatives? Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, well, Sellers. I'm having some trouble with this shield thing that's going on. That's okay. Heat, what is yours? 11. I will tell you, the shield is almost gone. Mm. Oh, it, it can be chipped away at? In my rules, yeah. Thank or you. a time okay, limit, great. maybe. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, because it was a pretty hefty shield. I I think it was just, and it was just from an ability. So I'm going to say, yeah. Wonderful. Initiative 14. Okay. And Ed, what was yours, sorry? Uh, 16. 16. All right. Heat again. So quick. It's that berserker energy. Yeah. He's got the fire. Totally yeah. healthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what are you doing? So this is sort of where Heat has gotten his name from. As these oh. two battle axes drop, you can see there is a reflection of these tattoos in them as everything glows with this red uh, glow. And uh, I'm using shiny distraction. So okay. Heat gains a point of retaliation and one point of shield and stays okay. put. And then I'm also going to be used daz using Dazing Wound, uh, the bottom okay. half of that, to heal three points for himself. So this heat Ooh. is sort of healing. Uh, so you're back up to ten. Your, what? Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Uh, you have poison, ah, my friend. I have poison. So I just removed the so poison. you just removed poison. Yep. But that's still good. Still good. <laughs> because now attackers won't gain plus one attack on you. Needed to happen. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. That sounds good. That's very And smart. then he's standing in front, uh, like getting ready to pick up hard and harder as soon as he can. Okay. That sounds good. And so next we have Whiskey. Uh, whiskey's back in the same position where the first bonk came in and the imp's still looking at Whiskey. So Whiskey goes, well, try the other one then. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Submissive affliction for two attack, add plus one attack for each negative condition the target has. They're muddled, so that's one. Uh -huh. um, so that would be three with an attack modifier of minus one. <laughs> oh, no. So two? It says, it says minus one total, but no, I think it is two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm actually... 14. I actually think that the shield only lasts the round that it's been cast. And oh. so I actually think that you just annihilated this forest imp. And it Yay! Just... Guys, well, hit you... them with your left hand. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you tell me, do you uh, knock this creature out or do you um, splat it against this carriage? Uh, <laughs> hmm. uh, whiskey was still under the impression that we needed to use the power of confusion. Unfortunately, it is backfired as whiskey bonks it. It kind of uh, and it falls to the ground. Oh, I've knocked it out! But then when it hits the ground, it goes and just obliterates it. Oh, Ooh. Um, accidental. Well, now I'm embarrassed, and that's when oh. whiskey uses. If you have not moved this round, hidden in the shadows, you may go invisible. So whiskey just goes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right. That imp is out, and <laughs> the other one is just like. <laughs> <laughs> Though Very it did look upset. probably interesting to see this invisible creature get splattered in the invisible goo, make you invisible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Be careful okay. if you get other people's goo on you; it affects you. <laughs> Put that on a shirt. <laughs> Ed, what are you doing? All right, I'm going to um move two spaces using my protective blessings move stuff so i know i need to be very particular with okay my and here. as you step uh -oh. into, oh. into this space mm -hmm. there is a 
trap a little <gasps> spike pit that that uh <gasps> that falls through as you fall through to the ground and um you are immobilized oh no just for it's you get to remove it at the end of your next turn but it doesn't stop you from attacking you're just immobilized so actually you're probably you in a fine swing. position for what you want to do yeah <laughs> yes yeah uh, do i take but damage remember that you're poisoned nope there's poisoned. no damage you just okay. are immobilized okay um so i like <laughs> fall into the pit and I, like right in front of the the nymph and I'm, i go uh left hand and i put the <laughs> my hammer in my left hand and just kind of like chuck it <laughs> at, like up and at the nymph uh okay. doing three damage with and, hammer blow. oh but there's no okay i see there's no uh light for you to consume okay so three yeah. damage mm. three damage that is gonna kill this in <laughs> oh do, do you kill it <laughs> nice <laughs> Uh, do you actually do you kill it or you uh, knock it oh, out? I want to know no, what I'm gonna, Ed chooses. I think Ed Ed feels the plight of um, these other vermlings that mm. they are sort of. He said like that's what they're told they told us to do. So he feels uh, that he needs to liberate his fellow vermlings by destroying mm. their okay the oppressors. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So he just he throws the hammer up, just splat down like right and through the splat. It goes. <laughs> Very good. And Hammer is, throw. Is that the <laughs> yeah. end of your turn, Ed? That is the end of my turn. Okay, perfect. Um, so after that, so okay, our imps are out. <laughs> the vermlings, they're not feeling so hot. They saw both of the forest imps are out. They're like, I don't know, this isn't worth it. This isn't wait, what did you call the first guy? Who's your buddy? George. George. He's not my buddy. Right. <laughs> George, he said he just, was. That's how they yeah. get you. Yeah. I don't know if this is worth it, George. I, I think we should. Do it. We got to get out of here. We're, we're sorry. We're sorry. And they're just going to attempt to run. Oh. Remember that you we spared them. your lives and maybe forget the dad. And they <laughs> scurry away into the woods. Remember Mass Sunday <laughs> at the Church of the Dawn. Say hi to your <laughs> wife, Sarah, George. Hey, good job, y'all. Hey, well and done, and uh, Lady Everly Von Trent is like banging it's against crack. the door <laughs> that you've put a knife right over. And she's like, what is going on? Why have we stopped? Why have I'm British? That's right. Why have we stopped? <laughs> what is this commotion? I hear too much. Was that a splash on the back of my carriage? I got this, guys. Whiskey runs up to the top of the carriage and bangs three times on top of the carriage. <laughs> what? What? There's there's someone on top of my carriage. Oh, she Do the scream the thing. Do the scream thing. Quick, you'll get us out of this sticky situation. I what? What? <laughs> Are you asking <laughs> me to do something for you? I think this is she's not struck. how this works. This is not how this works. Continue onwards. You but yes. you but keep it going. And she, you hear like some snoring immediately. Back up. We must um, remember she does not collaborate. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> it is fair. She is paying for us. I mean, I could do a pretty good terrified scream. Please, Ooh. please, please do. Now, do you? Okay. I was <laughs> I nearly spat <laughs> as I went. Sorry, oh. I, uh, I was poked by one of these spikes. Yeah, <laughs> just like, oh, um, stick. Yes, yeah, you're able to get yourself out of there and your conditions uh, Oh yeah. subside. And you start making your way back. Well, actually, do you do anything else at the end of this? Did they drop oh. anything? Ooh. Do you want to check? Yeah. Yes, I'll look. Let's have what a... What did Ted have on him? A focus check from each of you. Oh, yeah. Ted. No, they, <laughs> they took Ted with them. <laughs> they want to bury Aww. him. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Critical failure on my end. Okay. <laughs> it was a focus check, you said? Yeah. And so that'll be a plus five total. Five total? Plus six okay. for me. Okay. Um. Yes. You find doo -doo -doo, a 
um right like at the edge of the forest where that northern forest imp was splattered to death you see a scroll of power mm. and left in the tracks of the vermlings in their hurry to grab ted and scurry away by the log there's also a minor cure potion so you guys can <gasps> find that in the items uh you can add them uh oh. just if you go into your other items and hit the plus sign, you should be able to find both of those things. Uh, you have to choose who is going to take it, but Whiskey probably Who's... saw it first. But it's up the top, right? Yes, one is at the top. So he probably found the scroll of power at the top. Um, I think with Whiskey finding the minor cure potion. Oh, great. Which you can divide as you choose. I got the <laughs> scroll. I don't know. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> and with that, um, you gather yourselves and you continue, I assume, along the pathway to make it to Gloomhaven in time for this feast. And I think that that's an excellent point to perhaps take a little break and you can Ooh. fight amongst your items if someone's going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be back in, say five-ish minutes sounds good hang tight chat
And we're back. Hey, you guys had a successful first encounter. That's exciting. We kicked butt. Yeah, yeah you kicked butt. You guys feeling pretty proud of yourself? Your first job and all. I yeah. felt proud yeah. of myself. It exploded. <laughs> it exploded? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, Sometimes you people you explode, to, Whiskey. Right? Oh, you're right. Other people's feelings aren't my responsibility. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. You only are responsible for your reaction to their and, explosion. Oh, I mm. gotta work on that. And really, <laughs> I would know, sometimes you explode without meaning to. It's just a reaction. You do, oh. You're doing great. Thank you. Well, yeah. It's a natural part of adventuring, friends. And um, Hubert, who's got like some bits that have been splattered <laughs> onto him of forced imp. Is like, um, uh, okay, we are going to continue moving forward, madam. Um, all is well. And he goes and sits back at the front. I've heard it's a good exfoliant for humans. Oh, is that so? <laughs> he like wipes a chunk <laughs> off of his head. Uh, Teddy ho. And, uh, <laughs> Starts the carriage moving forward again. And is there anything else you want to do while you're on the road? Otherwise, you have a pretty peaceful ride out of the corpse wood after this. Hmm. Uh, the uh, bits of splattered forest stamp on the side of the carriage do seem to carry a fair warning for that. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, would this be the time to take a breath? Oh, yeah. I was yes. thinking about it. Yeah. Yes. You can absolutely <clears throat> take a breath and this is a great time to do it as we're traveling it's very peaceful yes perhaps you're sitting atop hanging on the side hang, riding a horse whatever you're doing mm. you can go up to your character actions and you can take a breath now when you take a breath you will get all of your discarded stamina cards back into your hand however you have to lose a stamina card permanently well permanently until you get a full rest permanently gotcha. for the day basically so you will have to choose which one you will be losing. You have a choice to lose a different card, but it's always random. Gotcha. And you would take one damage if you don't take the first one. Basically, you can mulligan, mulligan. it and you'll take a damage. Ooh. So are you all taking a breath? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, did you lose <laughs> one that you wanted? <laughs> I like this one. It's my uh small stature card. It's a oh. pretty good card, but oh well, it was All a right. random card. But you I get five in. back. Nah, you're still you're still just a little guy in our hearts, though. Yeah, yeah. We should really uh the playtest feedback should be maybe call a little guy. Look, <laughs> just a little guy. Just a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you continue onwards out of the lovely, cheerful corpse wood. <laughs> <laughs> now you, you know, I I don't know why they call it the corpse wood. It was such a wonderful time. Mm. As we had our first successful job, I'm always going to remember this place fondly. With corpses on the wood. That's you know. I, we... I was just gonna say we could call it the corpse. Uh, would have liked to. But they, but they didn't, so, yeah. Corpse I... woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah. <laughs> Hubert gives a little chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> he liked that one. And you exit out of the corpse wood, and you arrive back in Gloomhaven that you all know you enter through the large gates through Boilers District, which is full of inns and warehouses, Right after the gate, you pass through the Ward of Scales, which is the market and commercial area for the west side of, of the city. If you zoom into our little, uh, if you zoom into your map, you can see these different areas on the Gloomhaven uh, little zoom in. And just for a reminder, because I needed it, uh, when you zoom in, you can use the right mouse button to grab Thank it and you. move. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Great. You saw the struggle? No, yeah, I, did. I was doing it too. <laughs> I want to get to this corner. So, yes, yeah, so you're going through the Boilers District, through the Ward of Scales. Uh, like I said, that's the commercial area of the west side of the city. And you arrive to Gloomhaven Square. Mm-hmm. It is overflowing with luscious 
uh, is an overflowing luscious green park that is between the Traveler's District, full of upper-class opulent mansions, and the New Market, which holds the operations of the rich, and also where we find the monarch Lurasia's palace. Mm. And uh, does it seem as Mm -hmm. though there are other guests like arriving for the feast? Okay, there it is bustling. There are people arriving. There are other carriages that have already gotten here, and yours arrives and lines up right next to them as Hubert dismounts. You know, cleans himself off. He's got a little handkerchief (laughs) and makes sure he's presentable um he goes to the back and opens up a second trunk not the golden one and reaches out (laughs) takes out three small outfits for each of you ah that you can adorn (laughs) so that you don't um embarrass the the lady do you think our outfits will help with that (laughs) I sincerely hope, hope so. Oh, don't don't be nervous. You're doing fantastic. Uh, You're doing so good. <laughs> if only you knew. And what do you want your outfits to look like? You guys can choose <laughs> yeah. how fancy these are and what you put on. For heat, I think I'll go with like what I'm wearing. He sees mm-hmm. a little uh, suit on a hanger and sort of discards the jacket and just wears the vest uh, and these little suit pants. Yeah, but I think I think for Ed, it's like a little red like tail tuxedo oh. with like black boots. Love it. Uh, whiskey was still riding on. Got back to riding on the top of the carriage and uh, on the way down, there was oh yep. Unlocks the door before oh, yeah. the lady gets annoyed <laughs> and pops around. And the last outfit is uh, even small for whiskey, but it's uh, very fancy and red. And it, all of the fur that's falling out is going to show on. And it's absolutely laden with buttons. So many buttons. <laughs> okay, Too <great>. many. <laughs> yes. Great, great. Uh, that is one of the lady's favorites, in fact. I would and... love to be the lady's favorite, so. Uh, 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 whatever and he <laughs> <laughs> the door and knocks like on the carriage and says milady we have arrived and he opens it and she like um flounces out like she's kind of like pops out of the carriage with all of the layers kind of uh propelling her boy whiskey yes. gets hit with one of the layers <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah Ha ah, yes, we have arrived, have we? Um, Hubert, spray me with the oils, please. And Hubert pulls out a little perfume and is spraying as she twirls in a circle. <laughs> he is trying to dodge the droplets. Like yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey didn't dodge it very well. <laughs> hmm, is that lilac and whale corpse? Oh. oh, how did you know? It's just quite the delicacy, and we only source the finest, you see. Well, um, how do I look? Do I look like I will turn the eyes of all around? You that, look yes. as Good. brilliant as a shining star. Oh, stop, I of Dawn. Stop. You're keep, definitely... keep, keep going, she likes it. You look like the dew on the side of a a hill glistening. Oh, yes, yes. Surely the monarch will will take pleasure in seeing you. Of course, they couldn't look away, right? Pleasure. How could they? All right. Well, I can't keep my eyes on all of you, which would be fine once we're inside. So here are your invitations. Ooh. and she pulls out three invitations, hand one to each of you. It's big. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, do uh, would you carry in this uh this trunk for me as we arrive? Would you? Does it? Does it have wheels? No, oh, it does <laughs> <it's> not. <laughs> uh. uh 
uh, heat. Maybe you get angry and use your super strength, and we uh, uh maybe Ed and I can just kind of guide it. Are you telling me what to do? No, I'm making a friendly request. <laughs> I mean, yes, I am uh, yes, telling yes, you, yes, yes. I am ordering you. Yes, I hired you. I do not forget. Yeah, almost like pumping up as a steam engine. Heat's muscles get bigger <laughs> and bigger as he turns bright red and gets angry. Uh, Heck and yeah. then like grabs this case. I've I've been picturing like, what is it? Is it Reservoir Dogs where they like look in the thing and it's just gold light coming out of it? Or is that which or which are you trying Tarantino... to look in? No, oh! just, that's what I've been picturing. <laughs> But Just wondering. is Heat able to to pick up the trunk? Yeah, do you want to do an athletics attribute check for me? Yeah. <laughs> and maybe we stand either side of Heat so that when we need Heat to be cool again, we just tickle tickle, tickle him back Tickle to... his tickle spot. Oh, just yeah. Tickle. Uh, oh, Pulp Fiction. That's what it is. Pulp Fiction. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yes. I, got, I drew a five plus three for my athletics. I have a plus eight for this one. Ooh, oh very yes. nice. Okay. Yes, you are able to hold this majestic. Is it like it's it's a golden chest? It's not huge. It's gotcha. a small golden chest, you know. And um But it looks just, like it's super heavy. But especially... With you holding it, it's probably like a you know, an arm for, for sure. Maybe but... on top of his head. Sure, He's carrying yeah. Carrying it. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, uh, don't you yeah, let that drop, dear. I've never dropped anything in my entire life. This is oh. part of his process. Impressive. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shall we? And uh, unless uh, are you going to try to do something? May I open the door for you, lady, <laughs> lady, our lady? And she was just. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's my job. I'm terribly sorry. I'm not trying to replace you. May I offer okay. you emotional support? You're going to open that door amazing. You just stay right there. I will stop for everything. And uh, you guys enter. Yeah! yeah. As, uh, as as Ed approaches with his like little um, invitation, he's got it like chest level. And he's trying to be like as official as possible. <laughs> Hands it to whoever's the, the door person. And you make your way into the grand banquet hall. Oh, whoa. This distresses me. In your a roll 20. Oh, wait, let me get your little, your characters over there. I've got a weird I feeling about this room. Yeah. Um, as you're going in, I mean, there are, uh, there are guards all along the walls. There are flowers uh. and greenery. Yes. Huh? Oh, I'm just oh, looking I th- at I thought it. You, I thought you asked a question. Oh, um, no. Ah. ah. ah yes. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> and there are all sorts of nobles in here. Uh, you see almost someone from like every ancestry you can think of. There are orchids and quatrils and vermling. There's a vermling at the very least. There's humans, harrowers. There's one harrower you see kind of in the corner. And at the end of this grand ah. banquet hall is the monarch Lurasia themselves sitting on a <gasps> luscious large couch overlooking everyone. And people are mingling and talking. There's some light music playing as well. I have a quick question. Heat, yes. I mean, blinded by rage, but is blinded still by rage. <laughs> on the lookout for a certain uh, skull splitter. Is, yes. Are they in attendance? Yes, they are in attendance. Uh, on the top left, you see that Enox that's sitting on a couch on uh-huh. the left hand side. Yes. Close to the monarch. Um, wait, hold on, that's you. I think that's. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> that was Ed. bringing you in here. Um, <laughs> it's right it, next that to is him. that is Enox's gotcha. skull splitter torsen. I'm just going to move you all over here in a moment does whiskey recognize the other vermling from back in the drinking days where all the vermlings would get together and drink how <laughs> funny you should ask oh. um <laughs> yes there is 
one vermling in particular that you recognize on the left hand side yes on the sitting at the table right now yes right there is amanda helen ulfrich green ankus ah you and her may or may not have had some history in the past some shall we say romantic history <gasps> oh and you left her high and dry and she oh. has never forgotten it for a single day in her vermling life that's okay when when you go through a process like i'm going through now you have to do the apology rounds for your poor <laughs> behavior wow you yeah. know that she is a uh flower designer and has probably decorated the town of Gloomhaven throughout. And probably yeah. most of the flowers in here are her work. You see a resplendent bouquet that is nearby Monarch Luracia that you imagine is the gift that she brought. I'm really whiskey. glad you said that because Whiskey was about to pick a flower and take it over to Amanda. Oh. And with that information, oh. we're not going to make oh. things worse. I wish there had just been a lapse in your memory that you yeah. would some, Whiskey would have somehow not known. <laughs> Whiskey can still do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I've just been so uh, distracted. I forgot to bring in all these other folks. Okay, we've got... Uh, Ed is in here. We've got, let's see, this purple guy is going to be uh, Hubert. Let's get a little lady. This, just so you can keep track of her, this is going to mm. be Lady, the lady that you've escorted in here, Lady Everly von Trent. And then we have, um, since you're not the only vermling here, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to tint uh amanda for you let's make her green for the flowers you want to make her green for the flowers she's going to be tinted green for you beautiful at the table who are we missing we are missing heat, heat. huffing and carrying the gold case on his head <laughs> and heat you are here carrying the gold case on your head i may need to give you all permissions again but um yeah let's go one time and tell me sort of what catches your fancy mm. with what you want to do here do you immediately go sit down are you wanting to talk to certain people um lady everly von trent essentially sort of starts making her way mingling seeing who's seeing her and goes to make small talk she starts on the right side of the room kind of working her way over does it seem like there's an area where people are like dropping off gifts like a um, pile of presents or trunks or <laughs> yes nearby monarch Luricia, there are quite a few gifts that are piling up in that corner but uh lady everly sort of sees you kind of thinking about it and says not until i am ready i will tell you i would like to be present when uh, the monarch opens their grand gift i've prepared i'm fine with that well, Whiskey's staying next to Heat to be ready <laughs> on tickle duty as soon as we right. can. Well then, just follow me there then, shall you? Mm. And I guess she'll actually start making her way down the left-hand side if you want to follow this way. But she does uh, start saying, you know, hellos and uh, passes by this this human right here says, uh, who has a low voice just says how do you do as we uh, pass by and she doesn't seem to pay them any mind and so you're following you're both following yeah how do you do to you too <laughs> oh wait I, did i give you control of the wrong character but i have i'm moving it oh you're moving yeah. ed and yeah. i'm moving he are you able to move whiskey yep got it yes okay great I think during all of this, Ed is so nervous that he, he's like just trying to like play, but he's sticking really close to Lady Everly Montrette just to be yeah. like, she's who I came with, she's who I know, I'm allowed <laughs> to be here. <laughs> yeah, and the lady sort of, she continues and she looks at Enoch as so she goes by and she, she says, um, At Ivar? Oh, at Ivar, yes. 
who is an Enox bruiser for those of you uh, that don't and that don't know. And she says, Eva, what did you bring then? Hmm? What gift have you brought the monarch? <laughs> I have something quite extraordinary prepared. They will not be able to ignore it. Look at my fine muscle holding it above their head. Yes. Look at me. He said, look at me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Evar says, <laughs> yeah, the monarch only has to look at this body for the gift that they may receive. If you know what I'm saying. Was that sexual? <laughs> and the lady's like, oh, oh, how dare you? How dare you? I assume that monarch's eyes will only be upon me, and you will just be a distant memory that they uh, essentially come to regret, I think you'll find. And uh, d- does does Evar have an eight-pack? I didn't yes. know that was possible. Wait, one, two, three, five, six. Yes. Eight. Eight. What's that thing at the bottom? I, oh, it's wow. right at my eye level. I'm trying not <laughs> to look at it. Um, Whiskey, as you speak. Like cut when, line. <laughs> you say, like, as simultaneously as this is happening, all of a sudden, Amanda, who's sitting right next to you as you walk by, turns and goes, Oh, my God. <laughs> Whiskey? Uh, dear Amanda, I have written this letter for you in my head. <laughs> oh, I would like to apologize for my all of my... God. I, I, was in a, I was in a bad place, and I did bad things, and I hurt good people, and I hope you can accept okay. my apology and know that I'm growing and developing Ooh. as a person, and you don't have to give me a second chance, but I hope you hold no resentment as what happened was no my fault and resentment? Not... Would you like a flower? Oh, my God. It's as beautiful as you, it's... but not, not oh. as beautiful, I mean. Wait. Wait, yeah. what? But, Have you? How are you even here, whiskey? Honestly, I end up in places all the time, as you well remember. Uh, places I'm invited and places I'm not. Um, <sighs> just doing a job. Let me know if I can get you anything. Okay, bye bye then. It's oh, you're really just gonna leave again? Leave like you always do. Do you want me to stay? Oh, whiskey. I'll stay if you want me to. You, Is you... this from my flower arrangement? Your flower? Oh my goodness, I did forget that that would... Um... Just... Mm-hmm. But you know what? You never get Look to take your work home, right? And she eats the flower. Okay, that was really hot. Um, <laughs> I'm a well, little confused now. I mean, you're the <laughs> one who left this, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I I was a fool. I am a taken woman now. Oh, congratulations! Yeah. Who's the lucky lady guy monster? Uh, who isn't? You know. <laughs> wow, seems like maybe you weren't quite as judgmental yeah, you, of my ways as taking notes. You missed out. Is all I'm saying. Okay, I'm better off. I've um far. You know, I've just I've moved on. Look, I was invited here, and um, pretty sure the monarch is looking for a match so i you are, know. are you gonna hook up with a mom i don't know maybe wow maybe. okay well that sounds lovely for you um tell mm-hmm. me about it later you yeah, can, i'll buy right, you a maybe, drink and i'll have some water maybe i will okay yeah I, just you know you know where to find me like yeah I, it's stranger, good to see you I guess. <laughs> okay i love and miss you too i'll talk to you <laughs> later goodbye goodbye that went well, guys, I think. Good job! Yeah, okay, this... <laughs> and Enox is... <laughs> meanwhile, Enox t- says to the lady, Yeah, uh, I don't need to flaunt gifts in front of the monarch to get attention. <laughs> Watch and learn. And he gets up and he has this like big stretch, shows off all of his muscles, does a little like flick. Wow. And the monarch is definitely like eyes over p 
peeking over as Enoch just sort of sidles through and walks out of the room. And as he's walking by, says, she's look, oh, they're looking, aren't they? And lo and behold, the monarch is watching him walk all the way down this room as he exits. Mm. Uh, fellow lock purses, Whiskey says under under their breath. I'm starting to get a strange suspicion this is not a feast of food and more of a feast of the bodies. We might want to leave before they lock the doors. Where should I put the box? I put it down quick, I marry you. It's very well. <laughs> hmm. And the monarch, actually, now let me describe what they look like to you. The monarch is before you seated here. They have golden eyes and white fluffy lashes mm. that brush against incredibly soft pink skin. A pink that seems to ink the roots of their hair before it fades into silvery white pallor. Their hair is woven into a long braid that's adorned with pink and golden roses that sweeps across their chest over their shoulder, almost like a scarf. Oh, wow. Um, they wear loose, open golden tunics with various chains and medallions that are hanging from their neck. And they've got these tight-fitted red breeches. Ooh. And from behind them pokes out this thin, forked tail. They're Valrath. Mm. Are we in front that... of the majesty? Oh, sorry. Oh, go yeah. ahead. Yes, yeah, so you are. You have now approached as the lady gets right next to next to the monarch says, uh, Your majesty, I have brought, I think, a gift that you will never forget and that will bring you so much entertainment you will never have to look in the direction of Eva Torsen ever again. Uh, <clears throat> heat at the grunt, like, sort of hops over and it's because he's so low if you were sitting at the table it looks like the trunk itself is hopping <laughs> along <laughs> <laughs> and he just acts as a table himself as he <laughs> <laughs> directly over. Do you put it down? Yeah, I'll put it on the table. Okay. okay. As soon as he puts it down, uh, whiskey's right behind you, and oh. puts one little adorable fluffy cold hand that's kind of gross over your mouth, and then use oh. the other one to tickle you. Come on. Okay, now time. <laughs> Shh. The sun's getting low. <laughs> uh, I, currently, Ed Ed has throughout his entire life, uh, you know, sworn to the dawn god, but is now for the first time experiencing attraction to the nth degree at uh, Monarch Lucaria. Oh! <laughs> Another suitor has entered the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Just his little tie. Oh. The light behind you is amazing. It's oh. a paid background actor. <laughs> That's right. right? <laughs> the Lord of the Dawn approves. Yeah. <laughs> Ed, why are your ears sticking up straight? Oh. <laughs> uh, the monarch looks over as this golden chest is set before them and says, What have you brought me here today? And and the lady is like, Is it a, a, a great d delicacy that I worked very very hard to procure for your majesty something only befitting for you and she goes doing the first bit of any manual labor that you've seen her do <laughs> to open the chest for her and inside is a perfectly molded jello cake oh. it is a blue glistening uh Mount, it's like a little hill, you mm. know, one that would come out of a mold, a jello right. mold, right? Like it's got the little, like the bunt cake, little style. bunt cake, yes, style. I I worked endlessly to procure this for you. It has been sourced from the very most dangerous of creatures in the wildest woods and is meant to be uh, enjoyed by. Only the finest pellets you see as yourself. 
uh whiskey's eyes glaze over <laughs> as whiskey goes into their mind palace of knowledge <laughs> to remember yeah. all of the jelly cakes they've seen before and to figure out if this is just a dessert or if it is just desserts. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Do a knowledge attribute check for me. And anyone who wants to can join in here. He oh, is- my God. <laughs> I, I remember nothing. <laughs> oh. Critical oh, no. failure. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was going to say, Heat is just blissed out because he's come out of <laughs> yeah, his rage yeah. and he's just having a good time. That's Happy to amazing. be here. <laughs> Did Ed want to do a check or no? Ed, Ed is... Uh, he's <laughs> we <trans-fixed>. refused! <laughs> he transfixed, yeah. Um, yeah, Whiskey's just like kind of confused over like, this is really what we were guarding was just jello. <laughs> mm-hmm. and... I think that failed so hard I forgot yeah. something else. <laughs> <laughs> Algebra yeah. is gone. <laughs> never used it <laughs> so the monarch looks and they're like I see is this perhaps the rare delicatessen I've heard of a portion of ooze that you've brought me yes indeed it is is I'm so happy you recognize how difficult this would be to procure. And here, yeah, a, a golden spoon to enjoy. She pulls out of nowhere. Yes, <laughs> out of one of the layers, the many yeah. layers, and you think there might be more cutlery on <laughs> And And Larissa takes it and they lower it gently and they go and they take a bite. Whiskey goes, hey. Oh. Incredible. The flavor. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, Oh, it's fucking happening. Oh, no. And they, it comes right back out and it's, they spit it out onto the table and it moves. (gasps) He chops it. <laughs> with one of the axes. You chop it and it sort of dissipates and sort of, you know, like the movement slows. But what's in the chest then starts to undulate and the guards quickly hurry forward to grab the monarch who backs up and back to the at least back wall here. Oh no. Um as the guards are like Sovereign, we, we we must get you to safety. And just, what is this? What have you brought? My lady, we would like the second part of our payment as we have delivered you safely to Gloomhaven, <laughs> and then I would like to state that we are no longer affiliated with this party or their actions. <laughs> and the lady goes, and now the entertainment portion of your gift begins, your liege. And my liege, even. And <laughs> At that moment, the gel has like begun moving, and it's moving out of the chest, and it's alive. The, the side of the wall, you get it, comes bursting through. <laughs> the wall caves in on the left hand side. What? As Amanda's flowers. Wait, wait. Oh, God, what did it? <laughs> A gelatinous ooze bursts through the door. Oh no! Amanda, come to me. Things are happening. Bad things. <laughs> there it is. There it is. You see it now. Yes. This left yes. on the left wall. The the wall caves in with rock falling. The flowers, uh, getting sprayed every all over Amanda. Oh. Amanda's oh. Oh, my flower. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the <laughs> guards on all walls, they start escorting nobles, trying to get them further away as this ooze has entered the chat. And now <laughs> we will begin combat. Yeah. Nice. Question for you. I have yes? armor and a shield. In terms of using Heck those, yeah. when do I announce that? Um, oh. Let me take a look. Sorry to... I believe, I believe if sorry if you like I believe if it's an item you mm-hmm. just state you're using it when you're mm-hmm. talking about your cards. Yeah. Okay. 
Perfect. Yeah, and you'll Thank just you. exhaust it when you use, you know, click on it, and it'll tell you that it's been used because I think that they refresh uh, when you take a breath. All right, yes. gelatinous zoos, not to worry. Or rest. Within it are all sorts of items, shiny valuables suspended within this ooze that seems to be reaching its like little oozy tendrils towards the table where this smaller bit of ooze has been presented. It's a part of it. <laughs> yes. Ooh. And you can see it is the same exact color, this strange uh, electric blue. As yeah, it's starting yeah. to like collect itself, heat tries in vain to like keep chopping it into pieces. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the little tiny bit from the mm. bite that was regurgitated. <laughs> got it. <laughs> yeah, you got that one. It's, it's out. Um, actually, yeah, let me get a little another little ooze token here for the jello bit trying to rejoin it. Mm. And so uh they will have separate amounts of hit points to do for you to worry about if someone could grab the ooze and put it in the box and run the box outside and throw it in the river perhaps that will make the ooze leave or perhaps we try and ray down the ooze by putting more stuff in it unless that makes it stronger what do you think we should do luck purses attack that yes. sounds good <laughs> choose your I'm cards <laughs> wisely uh oh <laughs> oh man yeah okay Okay, okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Yes, so now we are all deliberating. We're looking at our cards. Mm. I am looking at is it ooze. Oh, man, how much damage can we do? All right. I think I've got... I'd like it if you asked whether not you could or it, as to whether you, if you should. Should. <laughs> Good uh, point. All well, right. I am decided. I am decided. You are decided. Okay. Give me those initiatives, those sweet, sweet initiatives. 10. I, 17. I, I, I was distracted by Amanda. One moment, please. That's I apologize. Totally fair. <laughs> yeah. Amanda's distracting. I get it. My flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, I literally do not deserve this. I've never deserved anything bad in my life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and uh, some of the the ones that are closest by the door, like um, oh, it's Hubert who's down here by the door. Hubert just gets out of here. Oh Hubert's no! Out. He was like, oh, oh no! And just <laughs> <runs out. laughs> it's above his pay grade. Some of the guards are just doing simple things, like going over to useless guards, <laughs> the nearest <laughs> uh, guests, to try and keep them out of harm's way. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nice. Okay. So heat, you're first. Man, those quick initiatives. Yeah. Gotta do it. I'm All the right. tank. <laughs> heat. So the heat, heat shakes off the this uh this happiness that he has found, this tranquility, as he's been tricked and he was used, and it turns out maybe he was part of the bad guys, and that makes him angry. Oh yeah, he's what kind of good. Will this leave? <laughs> so uh I'm gonna use resolute stand, the bottom half of that for four movement. Uh and I will start from up here and go one, two three, four, rushing right up to it. Uh, and this uh, sort of, I'm going to be using glass hammer, the top half of this. So as heat is running, the uh, the anger activates the tattoos again, and it's now a stream of red fire that's glowing off of him as he becomes this like cyclone. Uh, it adds all of my hit points into an attack. So Whoa. he's got seven right now. So this is worth seven points, this attack. But after it's done, my value of hit points goes down to one. So it's like an all out uh, attack. Oh. <laughs> so let's perform what? this action. 
where I have this to. This is nuts. You're doing seven hit points worth of damage, and then you're going down to one hit point. Exactly. <laughs> so let me roll, and I have still have advantage on this because it's an attack from from something that Ed did. It was a oh, an the ability. Blast? It wasn't a bless. Okay. No, no. Was... Strengthen was just Strengthen. ended at the end of your next turn. You already gotcha. got it. It was a one time. So uh, if I did this plus zero, but it still adds my attack. No. Plus okay, three. Seven dim. Oh, wait. plus three? Plus three. So 10? No, I think it's it's seven total because that's all. it's all my hit points. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so seven hit points worth of attack is coming through. Yes. Oh, goodness. You feel like there's some uh, defense here, but it still got through. Gotcha. For sure. And did quite a bit of damage. (sighs) So it's like sort of like (laughs) jellos in place. I'm sorry. What was it like again? (laughs) Mm. Clip that. Somebody clip that. (laughs) (laughs) just add it to the compendium Uh, um okay is that your was that just one half that was it no the first one was movement and then the second one was glass perfect all right i'm down to one hp so i'm incredible blow but yes you are in you're in danger yeah (laughs) um ed ed okay um seeing this massively heroic act i'm gonna change my plan up a little bit but first for anything uh ed says monarch uh was it sorry usaria uh uh uh, luricia luricia yes Yes. uh monarch luricia we had no idea of this attempt at harming you we would never do such a thing you are you you are so amazing. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yes, is, Would you uh, like to spend <laughs> one of your either top or bottom action to do an attribute check and influence Ooh. the monarch in this moment? As much as I would like to. As much as I'd like to. <laughs> his duty to his team comes first. Okay. <laughs> the luck it, purses. It would only <laughs> use one of the actions. I know, but I got to use both. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah use <laughs> Go for it. I just wanted to All put right. it out there for you. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to um, use Daybreak and move okay. three spaces uh, right up next to uh, the heat. Um, all attacks targeting me have disadvantage on this turn or this round. Okay. All attacks have disadvantage. Okay. Against you. And then I would like to lay on hands Ooh. Uh, on heat. Uh Careful, I'm hot. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I think, like, yeah, so this, what this does is it restores all of your hit points (gasps) maximum. So, like, the, and I create light with this effect. So, like, the, like, light starts to pour in and then from out of me, my hands start to glow and I push them up against uh, heat as, like, the the heat moves from me, from the light into heat, restoring his uh, health points. And the light element is infused into the room around you. I will say that in addition to that, heat is like levitating a bit off of the ground. Instead of red, it's like a golden glow now over him. And there's like a calm serenity over him. All of the lanterns sort of like, you know, glow more, more strongly. And you feel this light really shining throughout the room. Yeah. All right, nice, Ed. <laughs> All right, okay, that's whis- it for my turn. Whiskey. Whiskey. Choices. Um, how how is the ooze looking? The ooze um is oozy, but you know, <laughs> looks like it's uh, still quite dangerous to everyone around it. Okay. Um. <laughs> the First one on the f- table probably easier. Oh, 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 yeah. The the sorry. Let me let me let me put a marker. I, I think it's not visible for you for some reason. Oh yeah. The uh, the there you go. The present um, ooze. The present ooze. 
that's oozing out of the treasure chest. Okay. Whiskey will use Withering Claw, the bottom action, not going to use the action and just move two. Okay. Whiskey hops up onto this little couch oh. here. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then uh, I know that there is a, a lot of discrimination against rats, but I think you'll all appreciate them now. <laughs> and Whiskey summons the Gnawing Horde, summoning oh. a rat swarm. Whoa. Right in front of the slime, block between uh, whiskey and yeah. the slime. The rat swarm has seven health, two movement, and two attack. No range, but it will uh, cause poison on anything it bites. So the rat swarm's there. They don't need All to right. move. They're already in front of it, so they're going to bite the slime. They There's look a lot hungry. Of them. Maybe they eat some <laughs> of it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Now, do they get a turn? Because uh, normally a summon creature will go before you. And so do they get a turn on the turn that you summon them? So I specify? had pulled it up here, summon uh do, 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 on the term. Uh summon uses summoners when really want attacking a summon access. A summon never acts on the same turn it was summoned. Okay. So they just so stand there, there and go. Sickness. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's like <laughs> they're all the nobles in the room. Oh, 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 oh my God. It's okay, everybody. Wow. It's okay. <laughs> I have a kind oh of uh, question. Are these palatial rats or are they like rats that you know? Like, are, did you just call local rats or is it? You know, I never summon my friends because they all usually die in the end. And that's just too <laughs> sad. So yeah. they're, these ones, um, I made a deal with someone again back when I was drinking <laughs> that they're kind of fantastical. They don't really exist in any plane. Uh, so there is no bad feelings when they die. Right. It's a, you're using basically the Anduril to summon a ghost army. Of, yeah, of rats. <laughs> that's amazing. Guilt free. <laughs> oh my god, they've still got it. Hi, yeah. Ben. <laughs> Hi. I mean, ah, save me, <laughs> Amanda. I think you can save yourself. I believe in you. Oh, oh. So that was both, uh, both of your actions. Yes. Yes, the move and the action. Okay, great. The guards are going to start escorting who they can uh, out a few moves. Everyone's just got a few steps at a time that they can do. <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah. Action economy in this day. <laughs> in this action economy? economy? In this Thank economy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These ones go back over here. Oh my gosh. Over here. And Amanda starts moving out with this guard over. We'll say this way. Okay. Hmm. Um, now we have our little is. The little ooze. Oh, wait, let me move lady. She also is, um, let us say, a coward. <laughs> Josephine, uh, I've written down the stats for the rats and I'll keep an eye on it for you. Oh, perfect. Thank like, you so stuff. much. Appreciate yeah. that. Of course. The rat stats. Rat stats. Rat stats. <laughs> All right. Little ooze is going to move. Goes. <laughs> Um, actually just over here to get closer to the guard and is going to do a little slurp attack. Oh. Uh, one little bit going out towards its ankles as it's now on the ground. <laughs> it's just a little small jello amount. Blah. Um, It attacks and it does four damage to it. And, the guard? Yeah, four damage to the guard. Day. And Ooh. poisons him. Ah, bad day at work. Yeah, real bad day at work. Um, uh, what did I just say? Four, Four damage and poison. Four damage. Okay, so and he's poisoned. And the earth elemental infusion in the room is activated as the leaves and sort of seem to respond to the energy that this ooze is bringing into the room. Mm. So earth is at strong affinity now. That is little ooze. Uh, big ooze. Oh, big mm. ooze. Uh-oh. 
Big Ooze is going to do a poison blast. No. Oh, but I'm right there. <laughs> I was going to ask, uh, do summons attract more attention than players? Oh, but if that's like an aoe thing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't worry. It's going to hit it all. <laughs> you mean worry more. <laughs> um, okay, so... Oh, my eyes can barely read this symbol, but I believe it's a push. Okay, so. Oh, like the, it looks kind of like a tower. Yeah. So it's going to target. Um, so it pushes. Um, everyone? Yes, it pushes everyone one. Blech space it w well actually the rats can't really move back because you guys are right there so it, it can't move back but they will all be poisoned am i poisoned as well uh let me see i think it's just heat and the rats because okay. i don't think you are one space away i think you you would count as two oh. so it's heat nope sorry oh. Wrong name, Ed. Oh, <laughs> Ed in the summons because because uh, heat is too far away. Got gotcha. Wait, am I this. am I one space or is this two? Well, you get pushed and poisoned with this attack. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Yes. So when you started, you were in the in the range. So and the rats I don't see. have room to move, but they'll still get poisoned. And, and do they absorb what? that, or does does whiskey get some of that? Whiskey does not get hit because you are not in the. No, I think I'm I'm here. Yeah, I, uh, that's heat, not, that's where I started. Heat got oh pushed. Oh my gosh, I am poisoned. right. Just just <laughs> kidding. Heat. Yeah. Heat. You are indeed poisoned and pushed. There we go. <laughs> As are the small rats, and you take six damage. Oh. So six damage is in within two range, so all of you get hit for six damage. Ooh. Oh, what? All of us get hit for six. Woof. <laughs> Six. So if you have anything that all of us get hit for six, <laughs> yeah, it's within two. What, within do two. what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Sorry. Not only that, but I forgot all of their attacks to poison. So if you get hit by an attack, you're gonna be poisoned. So everyone is poisoned and everyone gets hit for six. Oh my god. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> How's it looking across the board? <laughs> I've got four. <laughs> I don't know what my actual total health is because I have a horrible feeling. It's under um Oh com no. Combat, yeah. Where you see the elements, it's like a bar that's right above the elements. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Uh yeah. Oh, uh, I, oh no. You have so that's... few hit points. Is there anything I could do? You can negate hit points by discarding. Oh, that's yes. that's yes. yes. You... That or whiskey is flat you rat dead. negate damage negate damage if but i will negate yes if you have an ability or an effect or you can lose a stamina card so if it's one that's in your hand you can negate one hit point loss or you can can i do an ability uh, do you have an ability that you can use here i can run well it would still <laughs> discard well it would discard the ability right not a card uh right you would still get hit for this damage. You need to have something that would help you uh, negate the damage here. I see, I see, yeah. I see. Uh, um, but yeah, you can lose one from your hand for to negate one hit point loss, or you can lose two discarded stamina cards. Oh. For one hit point as well. Just one hit point, not negating the whole thing? Right. Yeah, just one hit point. Uh, I know. Wait. Wait. It's a news, guys. It's yeah. a big, big baddie. Oh. Uh, uh, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I thought, you know, just get rid of one and, and it'll bring you just down to one hip point. Uh, fun. Do I choose it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you choose from your which hand. stamina card. Yeah, you can lose one from your hand or two from your discarded. Oh, oh. Well. Oh, fudge. I don't have enough discarded. All yeah. right, I will. Um, yeah. I'll lose one from my hand, and now okay. I have one health point. Yeah. 
And now are the rest of you looking? Heat, you've got four. Ed, you've got three still left. Yeah. Okay. Yeesh. Um, but the great news is that <laughs> the ooze <laughs> is done, and they can only, <laughs> they can only great take news for me. <laughs> <laughs> they can only take that action, you know, every now and then. So. Sure. Okay. <laughs> So they just like to make an entrance. Okay? Right, right. A big fart. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, and so now we the round is over, so you can end round. Gotcha. The elemental affinities will all go down to waning. And uh, the game is afoot. <laughs> Let's pick those initiative cards. I only yeah. have a foot left. Right. <laughs> How oh, how's yeah. the ooze looking? Well, no more damage has been done since the last time you asked. right. <laughs> no, it looks the same. Yeah. <laughs> it's looking the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Ooh, gonna, let's see. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. I think I got oh, this. Oh my goodness. This uh, is... I have. I'm gonna go quick again. Because I've got it, so I've chosen. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go not as fast. And do do do. Okay. Okay. All right. I know. I think what the oozes are doing. If you've got initiatives, let me know them. 11. Okay. 21. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Good, good. One moment, please. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Moments. Um, Does the ooze have a weapon? Inside no, of inside, it. Inside, yes, inside <laughs> of it, there are many. <laughs> but if, otherwise, no, he's not using a weapon to attack you, if that's what you're asking. If perhaps uh, the stuff inside of it was messed with, would it take to it? Hmm. Uh, Indigestion. Maybe if you, oh. yeah, if you sell me on it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mm. Wait. Ah. Y'all got this. Mm. Get the just, you know, y'all got this. You know, the monarch in the back is like, get everyone to safety to the guards around them. Okay. Ten. Oh, nice. <laughs> and says, like, if only Ivor was here. <laughs> if only Skull Splitter could see me now. <laughs> right. Okay. So then 10 is first. Whiskey, you're up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not abandoning you guys. That's a thing of my past. Sorry, Amanda. Uh, <laughs> Whiskey's yeah, you use... go, Whiskey. I'm, I'm going to try. Okay, so Whiskey is going to use Frigid Apparition, the bottom part, which is, first of all, four movements. So one, two, three, four, up to the small ooze, away from Ooh, the big okay. one. Okay. Whiskey will then be doing an attack of two, creating frost with a stun. So oh. two with Ooh. the modifier, minus one. So one damage. Fudge. One damage, okay. On that slime. And then at the top of the second card, hidden in the shadows, I'm going to use my attack for three with advantage. So I will be doing two modifiers and picking the best one. Brilliant. Okay. I will choose the plus one and not the minus one. That does four damage. Four damage. Sweat. It does. Brilliant. Because <laughs> if the attack ability killed an enemy, perform huh? invisibility. <laughs> Yes, yes, that ooze, the little, the jello molded ooze is like, it loses all of its rigidity mm. and just splatters onto the ground. Nice. And the guards is, 
Is it dead? Uh, it was it alive to begin with? Honestly, this is just coming from the invisible voice that's just there <laughs> now. Um, is it, wait, who who put, did that? Put, and he's like kind of stomping where the jello is. This is the voice of your conscience. Put some heavy books on it right away. Huh. <laughs> Mark, do we have books? And <laughs> sort of goes looking for books, and Monica's is like, well, they won't sully it. Still want to enjoy it. <laughs> and <Your> heat <laughs> heat you're up uh so i just right right realized that i was pushed back last round so i'm mm. out of range for attacking but uh i will do the bottom half of shiny distraction or rather oh, not oh huh? wait uh whiskey you have your summon to go first oh yeah oh yeah oh! I, the rats yes That's what right. do the rats do sorry um, heat what the rats do do? <laughs> what do the rats do do do? Uh, from from the invisible section, I'm trying to recognize my face. Uh, you hear this <laughs> little hiss over in the corner, and then all the other ghosty phantom rats go, and they <laughs> attack the ooze. All right, for two plus. Give me a plus. Yeah. How about we pull the curse instead? Oh no. Oh, wait. No. What so is that's that? that is a miss. That oh, is a critical a fail critical thanks fail. to the imp's curse. The rats are going going and like half of them just enter into the ooze. The good news though, they uh, do, wait, actually is it good news? Do <laughs> does the poison still work even if they don't do damage? If no, like, is it on contact? A, is it plague like, or is it? No, no, they'll just uh, no, it'll get poisoned if it gets attacked. Are you asking if the rats are poisoning the yeah, when they attack, they do poison, maybe even if they don't do oh. damage? Um, let me check. Oh, poison, 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 poison. Let's see. Poison. When something that all attacks target, poison is removed. The creature. Yeah, da, da, da. I don't know about putting it on. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. We can rule. Let's say. Yeah, sure. You can poison it. <laughs> They're, They're just rats. very stinky. I, I, the, yeah. The, okay. the DM or the GM. Yeah, sure. Is my favorite. Yeah. Favorite. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sure. Chat <laughs> says effects always apply. Effects always nice. apply. It's poisoned. Perfect. Nice. Thank you, chat. The game even can if be forgiving. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> they should call this um, Fun Haven. <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> yeah, the summons have gone. <laughs> and does it tell you how powerful an ooze is if I'm like, yeah, poison it? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yes. um, Ed, you're up. I think it might be heat now, just because. Heat, oh, yeah, you're heat. up. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes, you're right. So, Thank you. For one of the cards, I'm going to forgo the action and use the movement for it for two okay. yep. uh, to move closer, just back up to this spot. Uh, and I imagine that heat is still glowing with that golden glow and yes. still uh, feeling that warmth as they sort of like hover over it and bring up one of the battle axes and then starts to carve in a new space, a new scar on his own body, uh, releasing a blood pact. And what? I'm going to use the top half of this card, which does six damage. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. So six damage. Yeah. And I drew a plus one. So that's seven total. Wow. That did um, a lot. And damage. It, it, uh, heat also takes damage. I suffer <laughs> damage equal half to my current hit point value rounded down. Since I only have four hit points, I only go down to two. Two. So this would be the time to, to use it. Right. But better than being 10 yes. down to five. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. You only lose two. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. And that I kind of, with the, the tattoo process, this and is this, sort of what he does. This is your axe that's kind of, that's carving through here. Yep. And it's making that blood pack to do the damage. Yeah, on, and you're on the slawing ooze. off like parts of this ooze, and it's just like, you know, again losing parts of its rigidity as it sort of like becomes like pools of blue glowing water on the ground. But there is still some of it still is just lunging after you. But it's it barely. 
Mm. <laughs> okay, so that is heat. Now we've got it. Okay. Um, question: Can I share a space with another? With a friendly, I don't think so. With an ally, you can end your space. You can move through. Okay. Well, then I will go ahead and try to influence uh, Monarch (laughs) Hurusia. You're you're back on, like, wait. Wait, 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 hold on. The Riz. This is the time for the Riz. Roll for Riz. This is the time. Okay, wait, Um, where are you? You're over here? Okay. yeah. 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 Um, this okay. is dead. Let me remove that one. Okay. Uh, should I say what I'm going to say first? Or let's, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's draw. Oh, ooh, how do you want to do You want to see what kind of result you have before you see like uh, yeah, what your words sound like? Yeah. How so gonna... which of your, you also need to choose which of your cards you're going to use one of them, uh, either the top or bottom of one of them as your attribute check, basically. Like you purifying just have to... aura. I'm gonna okay, not so... or that was okay. Be so purifying aura will be the one. Okay, so now you will do an attribute check. Um, it's gonna be your influence. Okay. Um the in terms of okay, so my background abilities, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Let's um, hear them. I would like to use team leader. Uh because <laughs> I I've helped out uh heat. Yeah. Times so far. Yeah. Uh huh. And I want to add that to my influence role. Okay. So team leader plus X, where X is the number of times you've aided an ally since using this background last. Okay. So how many times do you, have you aided an ally? I think we, twice. Two on twice. Two. Yeah. Yeah. So this is going to give you a plus two. All right. Exhaust that. We'll get a plus two to this check. Cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right. You're bringing out all. The yeah. Now's things. the time. <laughs> gotta get it out uh, yeah. all right here we go oh that's a critical success a critical success fantastic okay <laughs> what do you okay now tell us what you said <laughs> okay um as as sort of this fracas is going on um Great he's just word. been like blasted by this this nasty fart he, like stands up <laughs> he goes monarch lurisia i wouldn't deign to draw your attention for a moment as i am not worthy of it but I just want to let you know that at all times you have my service, my hammer, and my light in your defense and at your disposal. Uh, and then with that, I would like to do, use my holy strike uh, on the ooze. Oh! <laughs> Dude, this works so good. This works so well for Monarch Larissa. <laughs> Yes, over there, and and <laughs> if you're if anyone with keen ears in the room can hear the monarch going, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, all what does right. your what does your attack do? Uh, it is so it has a I believe it's a range of three, uh, and it okay. does five damage and generates light. Ooh, light goes up. All right, so light is back up to strong. Uh, how much damage? Five. Five. And I have to roll for it, I believe. Yeah. You draw for it. Or draw you for draw, it. Yeah, do your modifier deck. So it's yeah. five without the modifier? It's five without the modifier. I mean, <sighs> I want to know. Let me see, because you might get a fa- critical failure. I got a critical failure. <gasps> no! No! Uh, is there any way to uh, negate that? Or read <laughs> it? Uh, uh... <laughs> right after a critical success. This is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> I must reshuffle. Your fate uh, is in those cards. Look, you had fate. such a great uh-huh. success before. And, and what matters is that the monarch really heard those words and they are watching you so hard. And maybe you <laughs> just like you didn't fully look away from the monarch. Yeah. As you're doing this. Swing. Oh yeah. I think like he he uh raises his hammer up to like draw light in and like a beam of light shoots just to the left of the hammer. <laughs> <So> he's, <laughs> he's, <laughs> points it at the ooze without looking and he's oh. You missed <laughs> <laughs> Beans. What, a... <laughs> what a peculiar method that this stranger has, but somehow I, I still find it quite charming. 
And... Hey, you, gotta, you gotta kill this thing and make it look like I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, and that's Great. it for my turn. Um, the guard, you had such a great a critical <laughs> influence. Like, not just the monarch, because like everyone in the room is noticing you. Mm. And and this guard is like, <laughs> I got you. Like, he <laughs> sees what you're trying to do and moves <laughs> up to yes. uh, come and, and finally attack this. Now that the everyone is like, the guests have kind of backed up a bit and he has Amanda sort of move back even more behind where he was and goes to strike this ooze let's see can the city guard do it if he kills steel so help me i'll be so mad <laughs> will you no no it's cool, it's cool. It's cool. See, <laughs> you can only do oh i gotta pull a modifier for him i almost didn't give him a modifier let's see oh okay so he does five damage total so this is what you would have done, Ed. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. And so the timing of it, though, is like, he's like, oh, I, I got you, I got you, and sort of comes in real quick, right as that the light misses the ooze and stabs, but it's not quite enough. It does so much damage. And this ooze has been reduced to this just like little tiny lump of nah. jello that is just... Oh, you know, almost appetizing if it wasn't also poisoning you all with everything it does. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's 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 really close, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so close, but not before it attacks. Where's everyone's health at? Just so I know. Two. I'm invisible. Two. Yeah, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're fine. Whiskey's the only one Whiskey's that's gonna fine. survive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Is that friendly fire? I see. Who wants is. to know? <laughs> I mean, nobody. <laughs> all right. Let me try. I... It's okay. I'll do. I'll do something. Not sure. Sounds like you're to whiskey business. Oh my god! Whiskey business. Damn Love it! That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> You all That's are having what your own thing over been. here. <laughs> and, and I flipped over a critical failure on the modifier deck. Yes! When these toxic shots <laughs> come shooting out See, from this little tiny... When you're toxic to other people, it yeah, just comes right back to you. Absolute toxicity right back at it. So no damage comes your way with this critical failure. Um, but let's see. You're already poisoned, right? Yeah. Well, we're just more poisoned. <laughs> poisoned again, yeah. Well, the guard is now poisoned. Who wasn't? Oh, before. the guard is now poisoned. Oh. The guard is now poisoned. Yep. Oh my god, I can't believe y'all. <laughs> All right. New the round. Heart of the cards. <laughs> New round. The heart of the cards. The cards. Are yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Um. Okay, hold on. Let's. Go I might have to do something here. You or me. This is the moment of truth. What's my fastest right. choice? <laughs> no! Uh, I'm having trouble ending my... Oh, there we go. New round. Oh, perfect. We're good. We're good. So Earth and Light are inert and oh, Frost yes, is waning, right? has ended, so I th- your elements should be... Yes. Everything is I think inert I... except Light is waning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Light is waning, not Frost? Yes, light okay. is what's waning. Yes, got it. All right. Uh, I am selected, and I'm gonna go fast again because I can. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't know how fast I can go. Oh uh, no. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's good. I'm so excited. I'm just very excited. Okay. Uh, Give see. me numbers. Give me numbers. Twelve. 14. W- okay, uh, those two simultaneously. Fourteen. Twelve. <laughs> I'd almost have it again. 14 and 12 and Ed. 21. 21. Okay. Whiskey, you are up first. Great. Um, Whiskey is going to use empathetic. Your summons are. Oh, oh yeah. they're still alive. Yeah. My baby. They're still alive. <laughs> uh, they will attack. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Are your summons about to. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That, that uh, works for me. So they do three damage. 
And, and plus the poison is four. <laughs> and they're chewing away and they're chewing away and they have just gobbled up that last bit. They of ate foods. him. They ate him. <laughs> and they're like, like, oh, it is a delicatessen. And the yum, 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 yum. It's ratatouille. <laughs> they get <laughs> They've never talked before. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the ooze inspires so much when wow. it's consumed. Roll but... over with their big bellies. And this is the... how you, this is the invention of vermlings. This is how the transition yeah. happens. <laughs> oh, oh, it's evolution. It's like a oh, mind gosh. travel thing in a different dimension. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the guards and the vermling, the guards. Well, Vermlings too. The guards and the nobles, everyone, they're like, yes, everyone's yeah. cheering. Woo! Hurrah! We've done it, boys! <laughs> Apprehend that lady! Mission <laughs> accomplished. <laughs> and, and the lady who's like right next to the monarch says, but, but were you not entertained, my <laughs> liege? And I'm just going to do a quick little influence, let's see, <laughs> little influence check here. Yeah. Uh, Reset shuffle after the end. Nope. That's a <laughs> negative. Okay. <laughs> but why you not entertained? I know you seek the thrills in life. And Margos, take her away. Yeah. And the guards grab the lady and they start dragging her away. Keep in mind, you haven't been paid. Sir, for sir, that. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> um, hey, uh, Hubert. You are now responsible for the unfinished deals of your lady mistress, and we will be requiring payment from you. Hubert, who's been Hubert hiding left. at the... Yeah, <laughs> Hubert, <laughs> like, completely <laughs> got out of here as soon as he could. Those guards took the lady out oh, of yeah. there. He left. That's right. Um, But he's, like, cowering behind the door, and he's like, this is... But, but I don't, I don't have anything. We'll, well take the carriage. We'll take the carriage. <laughs> <laughs> but how will I get home? We'll give you. Why a don't you join us? <gasps> would you like some new friends who perhaps won't play tricks on you? We do Hubert, need a driver. It would. Is, is she really gone? You're a lucky purse now. Oh, I've always wanted to have friends of my very own. Shake Hubert's hand, and I like notice all the bruises. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, 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 oh Hubert, <laughs> Hubert! We're all trying to better ourselves. <laughs> Hubert hugs you, is like crying. Oh no, no, it's not all I've ever wanted. It's okay, oh. buddy. Uh, I I approached the guard that came in and like kind yeah. of tried to help me out, and I uh I go Damaged. in and like shake Dude. his hand, like, and then I dap him up, like. Yo, no, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I see what you're trying to do. I, I think you got a good chance. Oh, oh, here, here they come. And the uh, monarch is uh, making their way over to you. Um, I noticed that there's like slime and stuff on my uh, suit jacket. Oh. So, like, take it off and like un un unbutton my shirt underneath. I was wearing my armor the whole time. So. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And <clears throat> my leash. Oh, yes. Oh, dang. Down I go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are your names? Should we make up new names or stick with the ones we have? Stick, stick, with, the stick with the ones that you have. I'm Whiskey. Nice to meet you. And he. I, my lord. Like, sort of reaching out my hand, taking a kissing. I'm the Eye of Dawn. Taste the charming. Whiskey, heat. I am indebted to you all. I would grant you all a private audience with each of you at a later time of your choosing, where we can negotiate what favours I may owe you. But know this, you will always have my thanks and my favor as far as Gloomhaven is concerned. And for some of you, and they're looking at the Eye of Dawn, I wouldn't mind if you wanted to perhaps stay a while. We could have some chambers arranged for you all uh, in our guest suites, I uh, would like you to be taken care of, cleaned up. We'll get this ooze taken care of. You didn't even get to enjoy the feast that our chef had prepared. 
We must continue on. We will have the feast tomorrow, everyone. Tomorrow and everyone's like, yes. Ah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. And I hope to see you all there. Yes, may I request some first aid to the chambers as I am bleeding profusely? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, me, me too. Oh. As, like, just just like bleeding, just like all messed up, not, uh, not uh, dismissing eye contact, just goes, it would be my pleasure. Oh. Pleasure. And with that, we will wrap our one shot for today. You guys are heroes to the monarch on your first job. Right? Damn, guys. Yeah. You got favor right to the top. Of the we got a new friend. You got the best healers in town come to help you. In fact, there is so much loot also that this ooze just oh, yeah. oozed out. Oh, yeah. Well, the you rats got... kind of ate it. <laughs> well, they, oh, they ate. They kind of nibbled around it. And we got this great carriage to put all the yeah. loot in it. And so during the whole good. fight, it was dropping out just as little parts. I mean, lock picks, musical <laughs> instruments, oh. a mask of terror, <laughs> Ooh. Oh, an amulet of life, a steel ring. <gasps> wow, there's so I, much. I have one big question. Oh, the following Sunday, did George happen to make masks <laughs> show up? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, uh, George, uh, yeah. Sitting in George a pew. is there. Yeah. George is there with Ted, who is uh, bandaged. Recovered? Oh, good <laughs> bandaged, for Ted. Uh, on crutches with um, his two kids and his wife. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> They're all there at church together. That's, <laughs> that's wonderful. Thank, okay, perfect. That's all I needed to know. I'm that's, all, that's truly <laughs> all we needed to know. The difference was made. Thank you all so much for doing this and and going along with it. This is my first time into Gloomhaven, and it was so much fun. And I'm so happy that you all came along with me on this ride. And thank you all, the internet. I see you. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, um, hey, even if you didn't, we'd appreciate (laughs) if you followed Good Time Society here on Twitch, on socials, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like Gloomhaven, you can find in-person playthroughs of the Gloomhaven RPG and Gloomhaven 2nd Edition on YouTube and plenty of other role-playing and tabletop games as well. Uh, Some of us may be in a lot of uh, other Good Time Society shows, so, you know, check them out. Thank you again for joining us, and we can't wait to see you next time for more great games. And follow all of these wonderful people. Say your your handles one more time for everyone. Quick one edition. Oh. Yes. Just like an after yes. credit scene. Oh, after mm. credits, go. Yeah. It's really quick. Um, since we got the favor of the monarchy, yeah. whiskey yeah. is going to use that favor to open up a safe haven for other alcoholics and call it AA, adventure, uh, Alcoholic Adventurers. And we help people who uh, are suffering from traumas from their adventures and want to get healthier and work through them. So that's, oh. that's whiskey's wrap up there. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Give me a wrap up and your and your handles for oh, people nice. to find you. Go ahead, Phil. I interrupted you. Okay. Oh, here you go. <laughs> uh, my, my, my wrap up was that wonderful little scene at Mass. And uh, yes. my handles are on Instagram, mphilipcorea. Uh, it's, it's probably spelled my name, but then with an M in front of it. And then at Twitch, Phil Bofragans. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and for Heat, I think as an end scene, he finally plucks up the courage of pulling out a first edition Skull Splitter comic book that he really wanted signed. Uh, and uh, now full yeah. of confidence and no longer rageful, just could could you could you sign this for me, Mister Skull Splitter, sir? Oh yeah, hey, great muscles, man. Oh, I love yours. I mean, I admire them. I mean, oh, hey, uh, maybe we can feel each other's muscles sometimes. I I would love that. that. Yes, please. Let's go right now. All right. All right. Yeah. You You can find me there. (laughs) And everywhere at Xanderific with two R's and one F. Heck yeah. And Kate, your handle. Yes, my name is Kate Elliott. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for helping us with the rules. We hope you enjoyed this game. This was awesome and I don't want it to end. If you would <laughs> like to follow me on Instagram, you can do that at Kate in real life. If you would like to follow me on Twitch, now that we're set up for streaming, that is Kate is online. Thank you so much. Yay. 
And uh, I'm Josephine McAdam, and I forgot if, to say anything in the intros, too, about myself. But you can find me at JCVIM everywhere on all socials and keep up to date with what games I and mischief I'm getting up to. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, and we hope to see you next time for more great games. Everyone have a good night. Have a blessed evening. Stay hot. <laughs>